What's going on? Can you all hear me? How you doing? Say no, Juan. You know I am. We watched... What the hell did we watch? We watched The Boogeyman, which I thought was good. And then we watched The uh, Last Trip of the Demeter. I don't know. I fell asleep like twice. I didn't think it was that exciting. But The Boogeyman was good for a PG-13 film. No video because this was last minute. I did not feel like putting the um, green screen up. Plus, I'm a hot mess right now. My hair is a mess. And who cares? We're not here for me, okay? We're here to track a hurricane. And we're here to track two content thieves. So... Everybody leaves, and I'm loading up the dishwasher, and I decide to look at my twatter, and everybody's talking about Chantal being in Thailand. I'm like, Chantal's in Thailand? Chantal's in Thailand? This can't be the same Chantal who just breezy, just earlier said, needs to go outside and get human interaction. Well, holy shit. So I go to Chantal's channel, and I don't see a video. And I'm like, where the hell is this, this, this Thailand thing? And then I go through Twitter, and then I realized, oh. It's that damn Sala, exactly, Kate, and it was just as boring as she is, um, Sala and Chantal channel. So I go to that channel and I see that she had uploaded a video. At the time I looked, I think it was 36 minutes ago. So, of course, <laughs> I go and I peek in on our favorite little angry hamster, and he's already live. No, it doesn't even make a thumbnail because you can't even take the effort to make a thumbnail when you're stealing somebody else's content. And then I go check Breezy, and of course, she's live. And I'm like, wait a minute. These two schmucks always talk about how they have real lives. We have real lives, guys. And unlike Chantal, we have lives and families and friends. And yet, for those of you keeping score, Chantal is in Thailand, while these two momos sit on the west coast of North America, waiting for every freaking Upload. No, we're not angry, Sarah K. We are just laughing. I, I, I cannot believe Foodie Beauty allows these two to exist on this platform. It's insane. The fact that they sit around and talk about how they have no life, how Chantal has no life, and we have the lives. And every time, you know, I love when Monty doesn't upload because there's no Chantal content. And Monty comes back and he comes up with a cockamamie story. Oh, you know, you know, everybody. It was um, it's been a busy couple days for me the last couple days, you know. And uh, but yeah, I see uh, Chantal. Uh, Chantal went uploaded. So go ahead, let's take a look at it, okay? Anyway, so I said, you know what? We're just gonna give him the Chantal treatment, right? I want to see what she did in Thailand. I'm gonna watch it on my own and give her the view. But let's watch it through Just Breezin today. And let's watch it through Monty because I am assuming. I, I Thank you, Udon Baby. Thank you. How dare anybody in that community call Chantal a loser when they never even leave their fucking five mile radius of their home? But I digress. Chantal, say what you will about her. She's an asshole. I think we can all agree. But you cannot say that that woman is not living a better life than most, myself included. I'd rather be in Thailand, wouldn't you? I'd rather be in Thailand instead of sitting around waiting for Chantel to upload. But thank God I don't do that either because I'm not a loser. Anyway, so we're going to watch. Let's see. Oh, it's still voting. Oh, God, it's a close one. So far, Breezy first and Monty. We'll let it go for another minute. So the weather, let's talk about the weather. The weather here is uh, the wind just started picking up. Um, I haven't been outside recently. Uh, last time I was, I was 30 minutes ago, wasn't too bad. I let the dogs out, but my dad just called me to let me know the wind was picking up. I said, yes, dad, it's a hurricane. <laughs> it's a hurricane. I mean, yeah, I'd rather have my health, but I, I agree with you. But at the same time, a lot of people who are hating on her are people who are like, I have a life. And unlike you, unlike you, foodie beauty, I have a life. I have friends and family. And yet every time that woman uploads, you are live within five minutes. It doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, I'd rather have my health too, but I'd still also rather be in Thailand. Hello. Anyway, so um, the weather is picking up. I told my dad, yes, dad, it's a hurricane in case you miss it. So I do have my live hurricane coverage going on stream today. And uh, we can keep up with it down below while we watch these two content thieves do what they do. Best listen, people are going to react to Chantal. It just is what it is. It's fine. But I just have a real problem with it. When Chantal uploads within an hour people are live you can't give her a couple hours to get some effing views like come on the woman went to thailand and don't say she doesn't make content she went to thailand monty she didn't dress up in a little richard wig and do a bad natter impersonation the woman's in thailand filming a vlog 
and you couldn't even give her a couple hours to reap. I don't care if you hate her. I don't care. This is her job. This is her content. And you can't even give her a couple hours to make a little bit of money? Come on. It's bullshit. She, Gina, I couldn't believe both of the... Uh, I believe that... Uh, what's her name? Already ended. Like, she did a quick one and done. I think she flew in. Just Breezy flew in, stole Chantal's video, and then flew out. Monty, I believe, is probably still alive because we all know Monty does everything but react. So uh, it takes Monty like hours to get anything done. But I digress. So, okay, I'm ending the stream. I'm ending the poll. And we are going to go with... Oh, my gosh, 50-50. Shit, I'm not ending it yet. Come on. Vote. 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 Somebody vote. Damn it. Somebody, okay. Uh, oh, shit. I don't want to do Monty first. Someone else vote. Come on. <laughs> vote for Breezy. Vote for Breezy. <sighs> so, anyways... um. Yes, what was I saying? I did, Jess. Oh, Jesse, thank you for the... So, Jesse, I'm not going to show it on stream, uh, but I'll show the sticker tomorrow when the camera's on. So, Jesse, I finally got Jesse's card. Um, I'm not going to show the card because I noticed where you live in the postmark, and I noticed the card is kind of in that region of where you live. So, I don't want to, like, point to anything, but he did send me... Oh, he or she, actually. I'm not even sure, to be honest. Uh, sent me a lovely Bernie Sanders sticker <laughs> that I'm going to show you guys on stream next. Um, and I'm not going to read you the card because it was a very nice message. But thank you, Jesse, for the card. If anybody wants to send me a lovely card with lovely, kind words, uh, you can go ahead and find the P.O. Box down below, 2621, Dunedin, Florida, 34697. Did I get that right? I don't even know. Okay, Breezy's done. We're going Breezy. I'm ending it. Breezy. <laughs> I'm ending it. Okay. Who the hell is Jamie Rose, Marty's girlfriend? Uh, oh, my. tell me. You are... Does Marty not know about Monty? Does Marty not know Monty's uh, uh, inappropriate hit? Like, this is what's confusing to me. Monty connecting with Marty when Monty is the type of person Marty would despise and run off the internet. Does Marty just not know? Marty just... He must just not know who Monty is because if he knew, he wouldn't let his girlfriend be on a panel with that guy. Hello? 17 year old girl dms defending uh, men who think 15 year olds are attractive telling teenage girls allegedly on reddit to shave their chochas and hoo-hahs i'm very very confused uh i ended it steph shut up and mind your business <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and watch uh we're gonna do just breezy <clears throat> yeah i it, it's weird monty it, it, it i know fat monty it is weird but Mar marty just doesn't know Oh, that would be great, actually. Marty just doesn't know who... Oh, my God, your profile picture. He doesn't know who Monty is. And when he does, God bless Monty, because Monty's going to be in a shit world of trouble. But Monty invited in himself, because Monty's a clout chaser, lazy content thief, and whatever. Anyway, okay. So, <clears throat> just breezy. So, Foodie Beauty is bank... She was in such a rush, by the way, right? She couldn't even name it properly. Her title is, So Foodie Beauty is Bangkok, Thailand. So apparently, Foodie Beauty is no longer a woman. <laughs> she is no longer a female. She is now Thailand. So Foodie Beauty is Bangkok, Thailand. I'm assuming there's no entry here, because opening here, because uh, Breezy's also lazy. Let me go ahead and do a 1.5. All right, let's see what was so exciting that Breezy just had to give her thoughts on. I am looking forward to Thailand trivia. I'm looking forward um, to her talking about all different types of Thai food. She's going to have so much to add to this that the fact that she was live within 30 minutes of the upload is going to make total sense. Right, everybody? Uh-huh. I'm sure. Anyway, let's go. Why is she? You guys. Oh, God. We got proof of life of Foodie Beauty. She is in Thailand. Seriously. I got to do 1.25. I can't. She's sickening on, on, on normal, but she's even sickening on 1.5. Seriously, her and Salad just uploaded a vlog. Um, oh, my, my God. Thoughts are before we even watch it. Hi, what? everybody, by the way. Hi, hello. Uh, how the heck are you? I, your thoughts should be embarrassing because you literally spent yesterday talking about how that woman has no life and how she has no human interaction and how she's in Thailand while you're sitting around begging for attention on the Internet. Just Breezy, you should be embarrassed. You should be. Right away, Fuba Balls. She's a thief. Foodie beauty. If you are listening... Why do you allow, I, I, as much as reaction channels hate strikes, I think that if Chantal were to take action on, on these leeches like Just Breezin and uh, Monty, especially Monty, because nobody likes Monty anyway, but um, I think that people would actually not be mad at Chantal for it, because this is thievery. This is absolute content thievery. 
Oops. <clears throat> Sorry, my th I think I'm coming down with it. That little airplane air I had, I think I might have a sinus infection. I think that's why I got a little crazy. So I apologize if I have to clear my throat a bit. Ooh, look at that big storm coming. Mm -mm. My thoughts are, um, it's the end of August. So it just kind of proves that her visitor visa is up, right? Uh -huh. It just proves that her visa is up. Uh -huh. And my other thought is now we're never going to hear the freaking end of this <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's. I guess that's what she's doing, renewing her visa. But um, you're not going to hear the end of what? The fact that Chantal has once again run circles around you in the game of life. So let's let's add the things that Chantal hasn't done. She's never assaulted an elderly man with dementia. Uh, she doesn't steal other people's content. Now let's talk about the things that Chantal has done. Who she's gone to Kuwait. She's gone to Thailand. And let's oh, just pretty. What have you? What are you doing with your life, JB? Air J and B. What are you doing? What are you doing? You should be embarrassed. You should be mortified. You should be mortified that you were at home sitting around all day today waiting for the notification of a woman you claim to despise because you're too lazy to get a real job. And I'm not saying reaction isn't, reactions aren't work, but this woman, what she does is not reacting. It's not reacting. Just Breezy, you're not a reactor. You're a thief. You know, girl world has been boring hey, lately. Girls, so I, I'm very happy. Girls. At least for me, it's been boring lately. So I'm very happy to have a vlog to watch with you guys. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm very happy to have something to steal with you guys. Why can't everybody just watch it on their own? Like, why do you need uh, Mrs. Poole over here? God, I'm so old. I'm dating myself. You guys remember that show, Hogan's Family? <laughs> Actually, it started as Valerie's Family, and then they fired Valerie Harper, and it became Hogan Family. And the next door neighbor was Mrs. Poole. She was a rotund redhead who is super super sugary sweet and annoying and, and just like oh hey mrs pool <laughs> you are mrs pool somebody find me a photo of mrs pool i'll find one because god knows um, i'm not going to be uh interacting much because she doesn't say anything she's on the run possibly <clears throat> let's see yeah hi stevie hi everybody she's so, on the run Did you see oh, that? I can't. oh my gosh i didn't even think of that she's on the Ooh. run well, what <laughs> what do you think she's on the run for you nitwit what, what could she be possibly be on the run for? Oh, I cannot handle these people. Freedom Deep. Be a real shame if someone tells uh, Courtney the official. Was she the same woman in Small Wonder? I'm not sure. I'm getting her photo up to, to show everybody while um, Just Breezy steals Chantal's content. So give me a minute. But she was bored or jumping to extend her visa for step. them Have to keep an night. eye out for her. Uh -huh. That would be a real shame. Yeah, uh -huh. it sure would be. Uh -huh. I hate Florida humidity. <laughs> hey, Anna, how are you guys doing in Florida? Uh -huh. I'm praying for you guys right now. Uh, um, Smelly Cat said she's... Yeah, I, 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 on behalf of the people of Florida, I, I think we can confidently say we do, not, we do not want your prayers, but thank you. Gonna hate it outside. Oh, she will. Oh, she will. She was already looking a little funky to me, but I, I only saw a few. Look clips, at so you. Let's get into this, you guys. Hi. The woman is in Thailand. You are home trying to figure out where your kid is. Like, come on. She looks a little funky. I, I can't stand these. You know, you know, you know how I am here, guys. I cannot stand this mean girl bullshit, especially from a woman who has a record that involves beating an elderly dementia patient. Do not tell me she fell. He fell. Excuse me. I'm not gonna buy that story because it's bullshit. Hi, iHeart. I don't know how they afford this, other than uh, she may have. I don't know. I, I I don't either because you you do everything you possibly can to steal her money. But okay, let's continue. Oh, do you think she still has feeders left? Remember how she used to have like Sofa King and all those people who would pay let's her money see. on the side. Do you still think uh -huh. she has that going on? Uh huh. Maybe oh, you're welcome, she, Anna. Please maybe keep me that's updated. It. Yeah, um, sure, sure. Did she take two or three seats? Great question. Oh. <laughs> I'm sort of surprised she said on the plane. Same. Oh, that's okay, so funny. all right. Let's get into this, you guys. Let's oh, get into oh, this. Boy, kind of that's only going to be repeated by every reaction channel in america anyway look it's just breezing that is just breezing <laughs> mrs pool <laughs> if you know who mrs pool is <laughs> and you remember her sickly sweet you who knows the attitude this woman is just breezy to a t just pool i can't even handle it how do i get rid of mrs pool now hold on <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, I tickle myself, Rich. Kind of excited. Uh, are Let's you? Yeah, you literally just made fun of her for five minutes, but I'm sure you're excited. Let's go. Over. They're obnoxious in the beginning. All right, here we go. We are in Thailand. So when they come. Oh, gosh. Hi, Emerald. I mean, I think that's. I think it's amazing she's in Thailand. I don't care what you think of the woman. She's doing more than I am, so I'm a little jealous. Really fast. Hi, Emerald. Sorry, big face. <laughs> She's rebroadcasting new content. I cannot believe 
Just Breeze and still has a channel. I, I can't. I'm, I'm, I've said this point. I'll say it again. If I was Foodie Beauty, or if I was a channel that had ninety four thousand whatever the hell Chantal has, and I had leeches like forehead hair in the hamster, going live within minutes of my upload, neither one of them would have a channel. I would. I would be. There would not be enough fat reaction channels and communities that would make me feel bad about taking these two channels down. It's absolute highway robbery. Wait, I have to pause okay. already. Anybody like uh, secondhand embarrassed? Please let's start this over again. I don't no, know. No, I'm not secondhand. Why would I? What's it? What's the? What is there to be secondhand embarrassed about, Breezy? She's doing a vlog. What? Were, what did you do? You went live at a hookah bar. Uh, Chantal for the win. <laughs> Sorry, Chantal for the win. Oh, the whole bus thing. I felt. And let's face it, you probably only go to hookah bars now because you want to wear Chantal's skin. Am I wrong? I don't think so. For her, I don't know why. All right. We are. In Thailand. Oh, I don't find that cringe at all. Sorry, sorry for my voice. I'm definitely, I definitely have like some kind of sinus issue. She went to a hookah bar, Kate. She's over here making fun of Chantal for going to Thailand when she literally rolled her ass to a hookah bar. And I'm going to assume she didn't drink because, you know, she's a recovering alcoholic and all that, which I don't buy because she shames other addicts so i've never in my life met an ex i'm sorry i've never in my life met an addict who thinks addiction is something to laugh at usually every addict that i've come across has turned their life around or they become counselors um they, they run centers they volunteer to help other addicts beat their addiction i've never in my life seen an addict who's like oh my god chantal was live last night and she was so high lol yeah that doesn't scream recovering addict to me sorry Hey -o. I wanna, actually, I want to go to Singapore because of Crazy Rich Asians. I don't know if it's actually like that, <laughs> but whenever I watch Crazy Rich Asians, I'm like, I really want to go to Singapore. Of course, Correct. you have to ruin the moment with food. I was really taken in the sights. Yeah, this is on the couple's channel. You know, Breezy, you don't have to watch it, sweetheart. You don't have to look at it. I mean, I, I just this is crazy to me, guys. Chantal, where are you? Hey, Olap, why are you allowing this woman to steal your money? Why does this woman even have views? She was ready to give her daughter up to a strange man who reacts. Oh, I wasn't going to give him up. I was going to live there too. You called her, her. You told, what's his name? Gorlick Bread? That, that your daughter was going to be his bonus daughter. That's sick. You shouldn't even be in this community at this point. But hey, you know, Chantal's an asshole, I guess. I'll channel you guys. Hi, by the way, I have no idea how she fit. Me neither, Capricorn. No, I, I, love it. I love it. I love it. Sorry, I've had a couple chocolates. <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little feisty this evening. Just bear with me. The bonus, Kate. I can't even handle it. She has the audacity to mock Chantal in Thailand when she was ready to give her daughter to a Foodie Beauty reaction channel as a bonus daughter. Insane, disgusting. Go ahead, Breezy, call the police. But I already told you, I already told you, forehead, you better wait till Thursday. Do not call them until this hurricane is over. Do not suck up resources, please. Thank you. We are just waiting to check in to call some Why is it so jerky? Is this, is this, is this, uh, Chantal? is this Chantal's video or is this Breezy's jerky internet? I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I'm a little hot and sweaty from walking around. You know, I'm not in the best shape, but. Fine with me. Oh, Cuba. She looks rough. She looks rough already. Oh my gosh. And she just got there. She looks. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> I don't watch Chantal a lot, but we've been dipping our toes in the Fupa ponds, right? Through Monty for like the last like two weeks. She looks exactly the same as when I last left her on the floor eating McDonald's. Am I wrong, guys? Am I wrong? Does she not look exactly the same as what she was calm eating? Calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Monty. I'm just calm a little... down. All right, fine. I'll calm down, Monty. I apologize. Sorry. Does she not look exactly the same as she did on the floor eating McDonald's? Like the same way. What am I missing? It's so ridiculous. Hi, everybody coming in, by the way. Uh, hi. Um, I can tell you now that people will uh, stare at her. Oh, I'm sure. If they're in Thailand, they can uh, finally kiss for Marty, but they won't. They can finally kiss. Oh, will my they? God. Mm. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. My Gucci pink, oh. my beautiful brown. Oh my god, they're gonna kiss. Hey, I'm gonna ah. get her rich relative or money on the side by Patreons and ah. maybe. Okay, inshallah. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
going to be checking. I know I looked rough in an airport. Who said that? Oh, Sarah, can you should see me coming home from Vegas. Hot mess express. In our luggage. I can put me up as well. We just made it through security. Uh-huh. Not too many people here. Is this her video? It can't be her video. Because, again, Chantal's content is, I mean, you may not like her content, but I've never seen Chantal upload a shitty, I mean, I guess it could be her video. No, because she wasn't live streaming it, right? This was a pre-recorded video, so I don't know. I'm assuming this is either my internet because of Hurricane Vidalia, whatever the fuck it's called, or this is Breezy's janky internet because she's too busy spending her AdSense money on food and not better internet connection. Uh, does anybody know whose it is? <laughs> my fault, Dr. Breezy. We're going to find a drink of water. She does look like a jawbreaker, though. Now I can't unsee it. Somewhere? I really, I don't ever wish bullying on anybody, Breezy, but I kind of hope that you one day have to face a situation where your daughter comes home, your daughter, you know, you remember you have a daughter, right? I wasn't sure because you're always ready to upload. So sometimes it's questionable, but I digress. When your daughter comes home from school and is like, mommy, the kids are calling me fat or the kids say I look like a jawbreaker or the kids say I look rough. What are you going to say? Because your advice it's going to make you look real stupid when you go to the school and speak. And somebody in that school says, aren't you the lady with the giant forehead who goes live three times a day and calls the woman fat? Like, what are you going to do when that happens? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to live stream and laugh about it because I know you're going to come on here and cry if it happens because you can't control yourself. <laughs> I can't even handle it. So they asked Jane, for... Because you're, you are a crazy old lady. Bonus daughter. Oh my gosh. Passports and boarding pass to buy water. Maybe because it's duty free. I still think he's attractive. I know everybody calling him ugly all the time. I do not find anything unattractive about this man, but I, I think he's attractive. I'm sorry. Um, If they are in love, I mean, I know there's speculation about all that. Good for her because I don't think he's bad looking. I mean, she could do worse. She probably has done worse. I mean, hello. Well, who did she bang on the rock for uh, Big Mac sauce? Or am I mixing up my Chantal stories? Who was on the rock? Oh, that was the homeless guy for DVDs. Who was the Big Mac sauce? Didn't she give somebody a, a, a mouthy for, for Big Mac sauce? Am I remembering correctly? Be free. I don't know. Maybe. What's really close? She's red. You think She's he's not attractive, Steph? I don't. I don't they know. Require, uh, boarding pass. Just I think it's cute. Very important water. Jay, you behave. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to gate five. Natter, Pete. Oh, Natter. Uh. Maybe that's why I find him attractive because of the um, the litmus test that she's provided us <laughs> of all the men in the past. Although BB wasn't a bad looking guy either, though, but I think this guy's more attractive. BB's personality just seems so dry. Like, BB was a good looking guy, but he always looks so defeated. And maybe it could have been because of Chantal. I don't know. But um, yeah, he was cute, but I think this guy's cuter. I don't know. Or maybe it's the chocolate. I don't know. It could be the chocolate. It was a homeless guy, wasn't it, Sarah? By the way, I have reacted more to this video <laughs> than Breezy has. Let that be. A, put Someone put that on the record. Can we get that on the record? Thank you. So here we are, guys, waiting at the gate. And soon we're going to be on the plane. Oh, and the filters aren't filtering. Um, I don't know when she... Oh, my God. See what I mean about... If you watched my stream earlier, there's reaction channels and who are actually really interested in this content. And then there's the uh, keyword reaction channels like Breezy and Monty, who really don't give a flying farfig nugan about Chantal or any of this. They just know that if they go live, they rewatch the content, they talk about how terrible she looks, uh, they talk about her life, that they're going to get views. Like, that is just laziness. Laziness. She traveled, but she's there now, apparently. So excited. Me too. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> what drugs are in Thailand? <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god, Poopa Ball, please. I like, you know what it is, Steph? <laughs> I like goofy men. I have I have a hot spot. I have a hot, uh, a soft spot for like dorks. Uh dorks, uh, nerds. And I think that's he's got a lot he's like a goofball, and I think maybe that's why. His his his, his goofballness appeals to my sensibilities. I'm <laughs> So breezy, uh, what, can she we... fit though? No, she no. Clearly, she can't breezy. So the title that couple traveled to Bangkok, Thailand. Surprise! 
It was actually an April Fool's joke. You just don't know what month you're in because, you know, you're a recovering addict who's definitely not drinking, so you're confused. Clearly, she fit in the plane if she went to Thailand. How do you think she got there? By boats? Do you think she swam to Thailand? Was she on a freighter? Did, did seagulls come and carry her to Thailand, Breezy? Use your brain, man. God gave you all that space above your eyes. Use whatever's in there. Oh, my gosh. She did. Oh my god, it's so shocking she made it there. No, it's not. And honestly, can I be honest with you? Was it my trip to... Uh, my second flight to Vegas, because we had a layover. I saw somebody on my flights who was bigger than Sean. Like, I'm looking at this plane right now, and I took Southwest. If you know Southwest, we, Randy calls it the company bus for a reason. It's just a very... It's Kmart of the sky. I love Southwest. That, well, they were affordable, but the uh, the flight attendants are usually super funny, and they like you know I I just like Southwest, and I saw a woman bigger than her get on that plane with us. So I don't even think she looks that big getting on this plane. I know, I know, Gigi, you're being an asshole. I can't help it. Hey, Gaining Gerd. I saw okay, I saw a woman bigger than her, 110. percent Oh my gosh. Because I remember thinking, oh God, if Hater Nation were on this plane, oh my God, they'd all lose their minds. As they all sit in their two seats, they'd be they'd be laughing at the woman in three seats. There's no effing way. Again, we're never... You're right. It's a green screen, Breezy. They're actually not in Thailand. So, okay, let me let you in a little secret, Breezer. Just Breezer. Chantal actually paid to reconstruct an airplane. Mm -hmm. She hired paid actor. See the guy back there? Paid actor. Woman, paid actor. See that man who actually looks just like Michelle's husband over Salah's left shoulder? They're all paid actors. This whole thing is a ruse. Going forward, all the vlogs in Thailand. She's not actually in Thailand, Breezy. She's actually in the international foods aisle at Whole Foods. I know. I know. I know. I ruined it all for you. So just Breezy on the case. Figured it all out. Chantal's not really there. All this is fake. You're welcome. Never going to hear the end of this ever in our lives. Forever we're going to have to hear about how she made it to Thailand on one plane seat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> how about she made it to Thailand while you were sitting at home waiting for her to upload? That's what I want to hear her say. <clears throat> it's only going to be about an hour. But... Is it three? Yeah, did they get three seats for two of them? I guess she did get an extra seat then, did she? Why didn't they get those large? I don't know. She's sitting on two seats. Hold on. Maybe I missed... Uh, did you think she was going to sit on the wing breeze? <laughs> did, did you think she was a colonial woman? She was going to churn butter on the wing? Where did you think this woman was going to... Has anybody in Hater Nation never been in a plane with an obese person? Chantal is not the first person to require two pla Maybe because I, I fly too much, which is weird because Breezy and Monty will tell you that they're the ones who have lives and are so busy all the time and they don't have you know any time for any of this. Amazing, right? I, I've seen this before. I've seen it in person. I've seen uh, a passenger have to sit in two. Why is this so shocking to you? We are an obese world. Maybe not world. We are an obese continent. North America, we're a mess. Like, I can't believe this. Sh this shouldn't be shocking to anyone involved. What am I missing, guys? I missed that huge detail. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? It is two seats, you guys. It's two seats. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. I have to call I have to call the Associated Press. It's two seats. It's only gonna be about an hour, but it's two seats, guys. It's two seats. Calm down. It's two seats. These things are two seats. Calm down. Second foodie. Pants. Oh my god, my flight to Dallas on Thursday was like an ice box. Or was it to Vegas? It was to Dallas, I think. The first flight to Dallas. No, it was to Vegas. The first flight to Vegas was a it was f frozen tundra i've never been in a plane that cold i looked at michelle and i was like is this like normal are we gonna like make it in one piece spoiler alert we did sorry haters <laughs> when do we react to the video Greasy? when do we react to the video you went live within minutes of this being uploaded where is all of your insight where is your amazing insights your outlook where where is the reaction here yeah so they have three seats total she's on two of them wait but then whose leg is that whose leg is that maybe it's his wiener oh. or is that a pillow or is that a pillow there's no like it's a pillow at all what are you talking about those are there's there's three she's literally not in two seats right she's in the window seat 
Salah is in the middle, and there's a gentleman or gentlewoman to Salah's left. Do you all see that, or is it just me? Right? I went to no, I went to Hawaii too. I'll not listen. I'm not gonna go to Hawaii anytime soon. Hawaii was great, but it was like flying 14 hours to go to Florida with mountains in the background. Like I had to go because it was the wedding and I was officiating, blah blah. But would I run back to um, would I run back there anytime soon? Absolutely not. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> She's in one seat. Thank you, Lucky Lola. Like maybe if Breezy took the time to do edited uploads, you know, 24 hours after the fact, these are the the things she would notice. But unfortunately, she's so greedy and money hungry that she just goes live and she's so busy looking at the chat, she's not even watching the damn video. Or a bat. Huh? Oh, I love it. It's okay. Yes. All right, run the runway. I hate this part. I hate this part. I hate this Thank part. Thank you. There is another passenger seat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're like Michelle now, not me. Uh, I like the aisle seat because I like to stretch my legs out. Okay, I want back down. Tickle. Oh, we're still down. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, this is awful. What's awful oh. about? Is that breezy? Is that breezy talking to Sean Top? Because what's awful about? What am I missing? Tickle. Oh, we're still down. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, this is awful. Okay, what am I missing? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to normal. I don't know what I'm... What's awful? A takeoff? Breezy, have you been on planes? Oh, hell no. Oh, no, this is awful. I don't know what she's talking oh. about. I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. What? Please tell me. Please tell me that she's not pretending to have some kind of afraid of heights panic attack over a takeoff video on you. Please tell me that this overdramatic amoeba leech is not getting weak knees over a takeoff. I said, stop it. Stop. Just breezy. I'm a, we, you and I are going to have such a fucking blast together. Oh my God. I thought Monty, she's scared of heights. So am I. <laughs> it's a fucking takeoff video. It's in my. Sorry, <laughs> I uh, I got so excited I swiped my mouse to the left and it took everything off. Um, <laughs> no, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Um, I'm sitting here thinking, am I insane? Like, wh what is she possibly like having a nervous breakdown over Chantal's takeoff? Stop it! Stop it! Oh, stop it! So you can't even get in a plane, but somehow Chantal's a loser of the situation. I digress. No, no. So um, I have a magic mouse, if you guys know what that is, an Apple. And I have uh, gestures built into it. And when I went to uh, send my sister a screenshot of something she was looking for, I like, who cares? Mind your business, watch the video. Not it's over. Hold on, hold on. So the takeoff gave her anxiety, but this part does not. Just Breezy, you are such a fraud did she get any let me see if she got any super chats for that fake panic attack no not yet Topsy, tubby, wake up early. Could be anywhere. oh my god she's not even reacting this is right, boring snack. Ooh, let's look at the food so we got some orange nectar what else we got a little sandwich some water is that watermelon or is that a cake we get a complimentary snack on this plane we have orange juice Gina, so am I. I'm very confused by this video. Crystal River. Um, oh, look at that. So I'm in the red. If you look underneath me right now, finish storm preps now. Yeah, I mean, I did as best as I was going to do because I wasn't really here until last night, but hopefully we'll be okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. So when is this? 7 p.m.? All right. So in about an hour and change, uh, things might get rocky here. <laughs> so if you lose signal, see you all tomorrow. Orange and everything. Everything's hot. Peter Burke, warm. Okay, this is hummus here. She didn't even like she she didn't say anything about the food. She didn't question what is the eating, what's that drink. Like this isn't reacting. This is theft. So I'm gonna make the same promise to Breezy <laughs> that I made to Monty last week. I'm gonna teach you guys, you and Monty, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do reactions because clearly y'all missed the the day of uh class where they taught you how to do that. And what about Tornado watch. Ugh. 
Ooh, you're fasting? For how long? Up on a blue face. Oh, she looks like one of those dolls. Oh, a nesting doll. You guys have said that for how, how many times have you all... Put a one in the chat if you've heard that before. She looks like a nesting doll. Like, nothing new. You know what she actually looks like? Just breezy. I'm going to show you what it's like to be funny. You all ready? Oh, my God. She looks like one of those Pyrex dishes that everybody's grandmother used to have in the 80s. Remember those white Pyrex dishes that had the blue flowers um, painted on the sides? You all know what I'm talking I'm going to go find a picture of it. That is what she looks like. One moment. You're welcome, Just Breezy. I hope you're paying attention to how this works. Hold on. 80s Pyrex uh, blue flowers. <laughs> I'm going to get a photo up. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Hold on. Huh? This is what she <laughs> this is what she looks like. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I gotta find a good one. Um, shit. Uh, oh, here it is. Perfect. Okay. So, no, Breezy, she does not look like a nesting doll. This is what she looks like. Image. What should I call it? Um, uh, Pyrex, I guess. <laughs> Pyrex foodie. Pyrex foodie. Browse. Grab photo. Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, this is what she looks like. So no, she does not look like a Russian nesting doll. She looks like this. This. This is what she looks like. This is... I need one of you to start being creative and start repeating stupid insults. Because the nesting doll isn't even funny. It's not even a funny insult. It's not even a funny insult. Not even close to being a funny insult. It's ridiculous. Okay. So could you work on creativity? Could you work on being funny? Could you do something different? Thanks. What are those dolls? Are they the little rush? And go ahead. I dare any of you to tell me that I'm wrong. She looks more like a Pyrex 90s, 80s dish than she looks like a nesting doll. Can ones, you guys, the little Russian, she looks like one of those dolls. Yeah, everybody has said that. Everybody. Is Hugh Running Jass in here? Probably. Hey, Hugh Jass. I'm glad you saw my crown earlier. Oh, geez. Look at that. I don't know whether to give Foodie Beauty a hug right here or to fill her up with a delicious Gouda mac and cheese for, for Thanksgiving dinner. I just can't tell. I don't know which one I want to do. <laughs> What's so funny? What's funny? Oh my gosh. I made my day. What, what was what, is she going to share what she's laughing at? <laughs> what I missed? Hold on. Shh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. I made my day. What? What? Nesting doll. Yes. The look of a man who has all expenses paid for. I mean, what business is that of yours? You're the look of a woman who hits elderly dementia patients. Guys, who would you rather be in this situation? The man who allegedly gets all things paid for or the woman who was arrested for elderly abuse on a, on a dementia patient? Uh, I think I'm going to choose the well allegedly alleged well-kept man. Just saying. <laughs> Just a reminder, she's, she's in Bangkok with a man. I'm going to assume they're doing it. I'm just going to assume they are. Just Breezy, what did you do today? Okay. <laughs> Shut up, Spice. Hi, babe. I wouldn't mind being welcome. And now, did you guys notice the people what? staring at her? No, I did not. Let's see. Uh, I'm looking around. <laughs> And now, did you guys notice the? Oh, I did. You guys see? Did you guys see anybody looking at her? I, I okay. Nope. 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 Still don't see anybody staring. Hi, babe. Uh, everybody's looking ahead. Uh, nope. See an ass. I see an ass in jeans. Nope. And now, did you guys notice the people staring at her? Nobody was staring at her. You're just a thief using keywords to get views. Capricorn, thank you for the super chat. To quote RuPaul's Drag Race contestant, Darian Lake, you remind me of a Russian nesting doll full of yourself. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Breezy, you are the Russian nesting You, I can't speak. That's hard to say. Breezy, you are the Russian nesting doll. Goodbye. Got her. <laughs> okay, but did any of you, um, did any of you actually see anybody look at her? Because I did not. Maybe I missed it. <laughs> it's okay. There is too many eight. Maybe Breezy got them special goggles on if you get my drift. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
to you. We're getting a right to our gate. We're going to be late otherwise. She like hasn't said a thing of value other than all she's done is fire up a live stream to insult Chantal. Now, I don't get. I don't care what you think about Chantal. The woman went to Bangkok and made a vlog about it. You can hate her all you want, but this is still content. She made took the time to record it. She took the time to edit it. She took the time to add music. She took the time to upload it. And this woman, this this breezy lady, went live within minutes to do nothing but insult and disparage her. And as a reminder, this is a mother of a young girl. Oh, and we still have a 20 minute walk to our gate. So we are taking a train. What did I say, Lynch? <laughs> what did I say? It's all about keywords. It's all about keywords. It's wonderful. Not one person moved face. Of not one. He has life in his eyes, you guys. He got out of the fart box. He's getting a trip paid for. Like, you know, he didn't spend a dime on this. Of course, he has life in his. Are you jealous, Breezy? Are you jealous because the only thing that brings life to your eyes is when your phone goes off and you see that Chantal uploaded? Are you jealous? Are you jealous? Salah has life in his eyes because he's in Bangkok. <laughs> You get life in your eyes when you get a notification from YouTube. Like, aren't you a little bit sad about that? Because I'm kind of sad for her. Anybody sad for her? I am. In his eyes. I, I know, Hugh Jess. I got to be careful with the lady. Sorry. But too, <laughs> somebody was taking me around the world paying for everything. I should have just But how do you know that's what she's doing? Have you seen her bankroll? Like, there are men out there who like, and women as well, right? There are men and women who like larger people. I've seen... Real life couples out in bowling leagues where one person, a spouse or uh, half the relationship is rotund and the other one is not. Like, why is it so hard for anybody to believe that maybe they are whatever? But even if they're not, like, what does it matter to you? It doesn't. Like, I don't know why she has to be such an asshole about this entire thing, especially with her history when it comes to men. Hello, bonus daughter. Oh, that's so massive. So I think they do too. Life, Whatever. Like and here's the thing, Ella. If they're not, who cares? It's not my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's Gretchen? Oh, from Mean Girls. Duh. Sorry. Uh, hey, Aaron. Good to see you. Yeah, it's a nesting doll. We got it. You said that already. We got it. Nice little ride. Have a nice one. Welcome, folks. I've wa I've been in an airport. Uh, if you ever go to Providence, uh, Rhode Island, in the United States of the Americas, TF Green Airport, which by the way is not in Providence, it's in Warwick, Rhode Island. But I digress. They used to have the car rentals right in the garage next to the uh, baggage claim. Now you got to walk like four miles to get a day. Have you been to TF Green? If you don't, know talk about throw a one in the chat. Uh, if you've been to if you've been to Warwick, Rhode Island, Providence, whatever TF Green Airport. Um, and I remember one time, like, I wanted to get on a golf cart that was driving by so bad and asked for a ride, but I was young, and I'm like, I'm not going to be that person. But I'd flown all day. I had to come in for, oh, because uh, I had to come in for an emergency thing with work many years ago. So I had to fly from Florida up to Rhode Island to drive, and I drove to Boston, whatever. It doesn't matter. And I was super tired that day. I had flown all day. All I wanted to do was get to my parents' house because they lived in, in Rhode Island at the time. And uh, I, I thought about it. I was like, hey, can, can I get on that golf cart? But I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Oh, isn't it the worst guy? The worst. Thank you so much for the super chat, Lori. Oh, I got a super chat. Shit. That reminded me. Thank you, Breezy. Your fakeness reminded me. I forgot to say thank you for super chat. Hold on. Oh, no. I already said it. Sorry. Chocolate kicked in. Hey, oh. Well, you know what? You know what? You know what? Capricorn, New Jersey. <laughs> you get two acknowledgements. Thanks for the super chat. Everyone is doing well. Shh. I'm doing well. I'm praying for everybody who's being who's affected by the super uh, Right now. Is that before or after you go in and harass another church? But listen, guys, she prays. <laughs> We're gonna speed her up. I forgot I ever slow. <laughs> she prays, guys. P R E Y N. Although, let's send positive vibes out to everybody right now. And thank you so much for the super chat, Lori. I got a super chat. I got a super chat. Lori sent me a super chat. Woo hoo! Thank you. Oh, you're such a phony. Um, Alexa, what's the temperature in Bangkok, Thailand? Right now. In Bangkok, Thailand, it's 83 okay. degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so right now, Today, shut up. Alexa, stop. So right now in Bangkok, it's 83. Alexa, what is the temperature in Kuwait City, Kuwait? Right now, in Ooh. Kuwait City, Kuwait, it's 96 degrees Okay, Alexa, Fahrenheit. stop, shut up. Today, okay, Alexa. Alexa, 
Thank you. Stop. So there's a 13 degree difference right now. It's 80, uh, whatever I said, uh, 86 to 99, whatever. There's like a 13 degree or 82 to 95. But yeah, it's definitely hotter. But you got to remember humidity also matters. But I'm not sure there'd be humidity in Kuwait, right? Because deserts are dry heat. I don't know. Anyways, who cares? Thank you for the super stick. Thank you, Steph, for the dollar 49 pounds super sticker with the red bands. Gonna pray for everyone tonight. Go to bed. Mommy's busy stealing Chantal's content. What have I told you already, all right? Go to bed and shut up. Thank you for the super sticker. <laughs> I know you'd like that one, Steph. Uh, uh. There's no reacting in this reaction it's video. Like four. So far. Long distance. She's yeah. just stealing the content so she can get views and super chats. Oh, look at that stat. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Who is that supposed to be? That's a long nose. <laughs> That's a very interesting. It kind of looks like he's got Mickey Mouse hands, but he's got a peen for a nose. What is that? So this is where are they? Bangkok or are they still in Kuwait? I need to know what statue that is. Can't walk that or at least all of it at her size, but it would have been such good exercise. So I can't stand her, guys. I can't let people watch her. No one, you know. Thank you for the dollar forty nine super sticker. I love your cat. PFP meow meow. To the tan, to the tan, to the tan, Peter Butter. Thank you for the five dollars. Setting this so you have to see my coochie pink, my booty hole brown, my coochie pink, my booty hole brown. My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. My coochie pink, my, my coochie booty hole brown. Booty remix, hole brown. remix, my coochie pink. My coochie pink. My coochie pink. My coochie pink. My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. Thank you for the super chat. Love you. We're going on our first international trip together. Me too. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. What is that? Okay, but that's so pretty. Oh, oh my God! We have proof of life. She woke up. She finally woke up. God bless her. I know, Steph. It's a lot. <laughs> that's literally my whole afternoon. Two movies and chocolates. And I was ready to go to bed. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go to bed and wake up, and this thing will be over. And then I saw these two momos were streaming. I said, you know what? Why go to bed? Let's have a hurricane party. Uh, 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 uh. Look at oh, that's a, I love that um architectural whatever the hell you call it. Is that all the? Is that like part of the roof? It looks like the roof is coming down into a tornado formation. I highly enjoy that. Ooh, my OCD's kicking in. Do you see her streamyard label? Oh, wait, I can't zoom in. Can I? Can't zoom in. So look over here. Okay, hello breezy bunch. Hello breezy bunch. Two exclamation points. This thanks should be capitalized. And I'm really mad that it's not. My OCD is not having it. I'm dreading Monty's video because she's barely said anything, which means he hasn't said a word. Uh, uh, oh, hey, Gina, well, welcome. Remix. Ooh, ooh. Look at that guitar. Did we have to fly again? No, no, oh, honey, gosh. no, no. We're burrowing tunnels. <laughs> Chantal and Sala actually burrowed tunnels. And they're actually going to be crawling their way to Bangkok, Thailand. I just hope that all that water in between doesn't cause too much of a problem for them. Has this woman ever heard of a layover? <laughs> like, have you ever heard of a layover? You must have because you have such a fulfilled life as you tell Chantal every chance you get. And all of you can thank Breezy and Monty for being lazy because this is the only way you're going to get Gigi Chantal content. You're welcome. No, we don't fly again, right? I'm like, I thought we were for some reason getting back on a plane. I was like, I might have to leave this for a while. <laughs> that cart will tip, you would think, right? Imagine being such a dimwit bubblehead that you're sitting in this chat and you hear a creator say that and you don't automatically say unsubscribe. <laughs> like, do you breezy? What are they the breezy? What are they called the breezy bunches? Oh, stop! 
Did you ever hear the what are the breezy bunches? Breezy bunches. If you guys are listening from your breezy bunch HQ, do you guys honestly believe that this woman gets a panic attack during a takeoff flight video? Do you honestly believe that, guys? You're being taken for a ride by a lazy person who just doesn't want to get a job. It's not that hard, guys. Hello? Oh, my God. Are we going to have to take off again? Oh, my God. I think I'm going to have to walk away. <laughs> what did I tell you? Mommy is busy working. Go to sleep. Well, it's safety here. Yeah. Are we going again? No, are we fine? No, we're not. Um, when we're done burrowing, we're actually going to have wings sewn on to the two of them, and they're going to fly their way to Bangkok via Icarus. Stay away from the sun. You all know what happens if you get too close, Chantal. Not ready for the plane. No! Be <laughs> 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 hey, chill this next. Stop it. Yay. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> we're flying again. No, they're not. That's actually... Um, that's actually the new Mercedes uh, Z class. It's got room for 184. Yes. So for those days where you've got to take the entire soccer team, all the parents, uncles, aunts, cousins, great grandparents, first, second, and third cousins to the game, you can do that in the Mercedes uh, Z class. Now available for Mercedes Benz. I wanna... Is this woman? Does she, what, what, what is going on in all that space above her eyes? <laughs> what does she think they're doing? How does she think flying works? I movie, right? Yes, they flew all exactly, Sarah. <laughs> Their arms are tired. Oh, you better As watch you can out. See, this are a lot larger right? than the previous one and more sophisticated and luxurious, without a doubt. I know that's really nice. So this is a lot bigger than the other plane. Here's my beautiful wife. <laughs> he just said that. Congratulations. Oh gosh, <laughs> my beautiful wife, Chantel. <laughs> All right, so almost immediately they gave us these little snack crackers. And <laughs> Spice. <laughs> Breezy's proving what's wrong with the education system in this country when she doesn't know where fucking countries are and that you need to take a plane to them. Um, this is when I start to ask the same questions that I asked about Monty. Is she really this clueless or is she pretending to be because she knows it'll sell? Like, you know, Monty, I say that all the time. Like, is Monty this much of a degenerate or does he just do these things because he thinks it'll sell but when the camera's not off he's actually a super nice guy i don't know i question that about just breezy like is this just an internet persona and then when the camera goes off she's fully aware of how planes work and how countries work and how airplane seats work or is she this ditzy all the time i don't know what do you guys think hold on you know what let's do a poll <laughs> poll time i know you guys love a poll okay ready uh... Okay, I'm using a nice term. Okay, go vote. Ready? Is Breezy a bubblehead in real life? <laughs> Ask your vote. Uh, uh, Gaining Guard, can I get the link to that weather thing uh, you've got down in the corner? My mom is in the Hudson Spring Hill area, and I'm trying to keep it. Uh, yes, uh, you want me to tweet it out right now? Uh, hold on, I can get it. I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to go grab it. Pretty good. And some cranberry juice. We love watching the flight map. Yeah, she's in one seat in this during the flight. And we had to go over India, which was pretty cool. So my meal was... Ooh, I would love to go over India. My friend's gone to India many times. Her husband's from uh, Kerala, which is the uh, southwestern tip of the India, I believe. But anyways, anyways I'm going to run. I'm gonna play. i got to run to Twitter, and I'm going to tag L Lola in this stream. With the water. I mean, I'm going to tag Lola in the weather video. Some kind of hamburger America. steak with a delicious gravy, mashed huh. potatoes, and like a cranberry sauce. It definitely has more color than what you usually eat. With a mixed veggie salad and a cheese. <laughs> That's the best you could do? Okay, my turn. Those damn peas and carrots that they came out of a can. No, thank you. That soup looks like... I don't even... Uh, that soup looks like something. Help me out here. That soup looks like dumpster juice. You know when you walk past a dumpster and there's an orange neon flow of juice coming out the bottom? That's what that looks like. That bread thing looks disgusting. I think it's some kind of angel food. And I hate angel food. It's spongy. That... Burger patty looks dry as hell. I'm assuming those are mashed potatoes next to it. Where's the black pepper and the butter? I don't know what that red shit is, but if it's beets, pass. And I believe it's sitting on some kind of, what is that? A pool of grease? Yeah. Oh, and a Coca-Cola. <laughs> Why are we not drinking Diet Coke? A cheesecake dessert. And this was Salah's meal of chicken, rice, and he said it was quite delicious. Oh, that looks delicious. No, it doesn't. Actually, no. Actually, the, is that curry? It must be. I don't know if that's curry. 
That looks way better than hers. I still don't understand what that top left thing is. Is that some kind of soup? And if I was going to drink a full soda, uh, full fat soda or full sugary soda, I would drink a Sprite. So I'm giving him a win for the choice of Sprite. Uh, Lola, I just tagged you on Twitter in it. So hopefully that helps. And after dinner, of course, we have some cookies. Yes, and they look nice like canned frozen coffee. nonsense. We have like four hours to left. Oops. On my second duty. Well, we did book our seat. Do you think they're in first class? together mashallah we had extra seat in the row nobody was sitting there so we used it for extra room uh -huh. it's just you know more spacious and more comfortable for us and we could put the blankets and pillows in the middle and as you can see i can use the center tray which of course because mine doesn't come all the way down do you think they bought an extra seat or do you believe what she's saying who because cares of my it's okay the tray was fine and we still got to hold hands oh, uh, putting her a flan Ooh, that flan didn't look right that flan did not look baked capricorn that flan still looked like in its original liquid form prior to spending one hour at 350 degrees that's right so and more food they gave oh, us no. this Glad sandwich like a breakfast kind of sandwich it had beef and egg my friends so michelle you all know michelle she went to london in june um and she took Virgin. who's the the uh branson virgin atlantic right is that his airline Brand richard branson i think anyways and she said it was like one of the most and she wasn't even like first class she was like a like regular coach or whatever so luxurious i mean she might have had like an upgrade something between like coach and first class whatever but she said it was great blankets food uh entertainment the lore they had a bar they had a bar you could walk up to and order a drink like that's how big the plane was i've never been in a plane that big in a flaky pastry and Salah thought it was really delicious i actually did think it was pretty savory and tasty as well who are you talking about Gina? You know, breezy on the entertainment oh that's fun are you talking about breezy or are you talking about uh chantal Oh, that's fun. I don't know if I don't think we had games when I my I well, what flight did I was it Delta when I came back from Honolulu? We had televisions, but I just think it was just movies and TVs. I don't think we had games. Or maybe I had games you had to pay for it. In the unit on the plane. So I had some fun playing Monopoly. I played for like a good at least a good hour. It was fun. That's my guess. Okay, so everybody's saying extra seat. They bought three seats. I agree. Uh, of course you do. Of course you agree. You're gonna agree with anything that audience tells you because you're a grifter. <laughs> Come on. Okay, this isn't bad. That's what I thought. Oh, look, this isn't bad, guys. This doesn't trigger her fear of heights. <laughs> I asked this about Monty. I'm going to ask it about Breezy. Is she real? Or is this woman animatronic? Is she a hologram? I have never in my life... Like, if I'm in a movie theater... Okay, like, for example, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. At the, if you've seen it, I'm not going to give spoiler alerts, but there is a train scene okay where there's heights involved like when you're watching it on a big screen like that and the special effects my knees get a little weak when i see stuff there this bullshit she's trying to pull how anybody can buy that her watching a takeoff on a grainy youtube video is triggering her fear of who buys this shit oh i know blue jays erin tay burberry uh who else christina over so there's plenty of people who do that's the part that's insane to me it's so fake yes. okay that's enough of that thank you we get it so i get the point booty i can see out the freaking window thank you so fake guys she's so we made it yes you look exhausted babe yeah we still have to get our luggage sim cards and taxis it's a lot of travel travel is exhausting it's okay piece of cake <laughs> yeah, it's can't even see anything out the window. That's how human it is here. <laughs> I mean, landed? I can't even tell. Suva, but I can't even read the dance. Suva, Bami, and Sashley. Uh huh. Uh, wait, are we reacting to anything in this screen? No, we're okay. Hey, crazy man, how are you? She pooped in her diaper. <laughs> she pooped in her diaper. Huh, so funny. You're a mother, just a reminder. Oh my gosh, I was thinking that too, Ray. The Mideast first class, you are thinking of in a different section. Do you think her daughter is going to be a terror in school and just be like a bully? Or do you think her daughter's going to get bullied and get screwed because her mom will have no good advice for her? I'm curious. Anyway, let's check out the poll. Uh, ninety-four percent of you believe that Breezy is in fact a bubble head in real life. Six percent of you so far say no. Let's continue. Action, and they are in business level quality. Oh, okay, good to know. Thank you. Thank you, Thailand Airport. Now going to take our baggage, and then. We'll see. Gina, that movie was so good. Oh, yeah, so we need cool. one. We have to check for our luggage. Oh, hold on. What, do we, what do we need? What was that? What was that insulting comment about? What do we need? We'll see. Hotel for a shower. Yes, you need one. <sighs> 
I guess I guess just breezy when she flies because you know she has such a fulfilled life. She must shower in the bathroom toilet prior to landing, right? The rest of us on long flights, we can't shower till we get a hotel, and that could be anywhere from four to, to like for example, Honolulu. I left I left here at seven uh, seven a shortly after seven a.m. Eastern time. I landed in Honolulu at ten p.m. Eastern time. So I traveled for 15 hours. Can somebody tell me what Breezy here expected me to do when I got off the plane? Was I supposed to shower in the in the airport bathroom, the toilets? I don't understand. I don't understand how that's even a criticism. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's mean to be mean. And the worst part is, it's because she knows it sells. We have to check for her luggage. Chloe! Me too. Breezy, kind of unrelated, but I thought you should know. That you're an absolutely amazing mother from another mom with a not so perfect past. Bullshit. Chloe, you're so sweet, and thank you so much for saying that. It feels really good to hear that. Thank you, and you're an amazing mom too. I hope you know that. I got Bullshit. a super chat. I got a super chat. Beautiful Chloe sent me a super chat. Woo -hoo. And I'm rooting for you, Chloe. If you ever need to talk or anything, I'm here. <laughs> oh no! Please call a hotline first. I beg of you, please do not call Breezy. Okay. Oh, thank you again. That was so sweet. Which conveyor belt? And a lie. That's going to be on. There's a million. I don't know what kind of mother she is, but I can't imagine. I, just, I can't imagine a, a mother doing this. And uh, Terry, I, I just can't. I just can't. I don't know. I can't imagine. I can't. I, I, she's so picky about everything. And, and then she has the history with the, 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 the grandfather, the elderly abuse. I just no. I, I don't. I, she's just mean to be mean. Like there's no insight. There's no commentary. She's just mean to be mean mean this is a grift uh. um yeah so we're just gonna get wait for our luggage and this airport is huge um and i'm super like some of the big reaction channels i can't even imagine them jumping on that shower comment comment because they've probably traveled and they know that everybody looks like a sack of shit after a very long flight it's just breezy does the commentary of a reaction channel who doesn't really they're not that invested. They don't even know what to say. They can't think of anything witty. So they just have to constantly, just if I'm just mean to her, if I'm nasty to her, that's all I have to do. And, and it works to an extent, of course, because she's not like, I don't think she's a huge channel, but it's crazy to me. It, the whole thing is insanity to me. Insanity. Super full because they give us, like if you fly with Qatar Airways, they're going to feed you every two hours. I know you can say no, but it's really hard. Um, so yeah. Uh, Correct. I'm very hot and Correct. tired of this whole day of traveling and walking around so much. So, but I'm all right so far. <laughs> no insult, no insulting comment. You're good, Breezy. Just, just checking in because I want to make sure you didn't fall asleep or pass out of the table. We good? We good? Cool. I don't know any Thai. The only Thai I know is like Sawati Ka and Sawati Ka for a male. My makeup, oh my gosh. You're looking rough. It's not your makeup. It's you. It's your health. I need to get to <laughs> oh my god you're such a nasty piece of work the hotel and have the coldest shower i swear Wait, what I did you do with harry and julia what did you do with them i'm so sweaty and gross we know it's bad one of the first things you want to do when you get to thailand is it's just it's just party. nasty to but be nasty the surrounding the like i'll give monty this monty just repeat stuff from the chat because he can't even be nasty on his own. That's how unoriginal, unoriginal he is. Monty's just a follower and just goes along with you. Yeah, sure. Oh, true. Facts. Like Monty likes to say facts a lot. Facts. Because he doesn't, I don't think he actually wants to do it himself unless he's provoked or you criticize him. She's clearly a mean girl. She just, she just wants to be a mean girl. It's actually, and she does it with that sickening clearly you need a shower because you look disgusting and it's your health you look a russian nesting doll <laughs> thank you for the super chat it's just that's what makes it worse like if you're gonna if you're gonna be a nasty biatch own it be a nasty biatch don't hide behind a fake act uh, a fake here's the good news for you breezy be yourself you'll probably actually go quicker because the community, the nastier you are, the quicker you grow. So if that's what you're trying to do here, you might as well just let your nasty flag fly. You're going to end up doing better than you are now. Very competitive. So uh, we are currently going to be getting some SIM cards, preferably with unlimited internet from somewhere. Uh. Uh. 
you know what? Screw that's what? um that's what I'm hoping for too. Like I hope she actually goes out and does stuff. It'd be really cool to see. She's in Thailand. <laughs> You're sitting on a living room floor that I heard your parents paid for. I don't know if that's true or not. Can someone confirm that for me? <laughs> that your parents bought you a house, okay? Your parents have homed you, housed, housed you, homed you. You're sitting on a floor in a home that was gifted to you because for some reason you just don't feel like you should get a job. <laughs> silly, silly, silly society for putting those kinds of expectations on you as a single parent. Anyway, you're sitting there on the floor hoping that the woman who just uploaded a video about going to Thailand leaves the house and does something. <laughs> Do her and Monty share an audience? They must share because... You have to be brain dead at this point. There's no other explanation. You have to be brain dead to watch a woman in Thailand and agree with a lady in the small box on mommy and daddy's floor saying, you know, I really hope she goes out and does things. Ma'am, she already is doing things. <laughs> She's in Thailand. And let's face it, Breezy, no matter what she does, you're going to insult her. You're going to tell her she's unhealthy, she's sweaty, her husband's a, a, a pay, uh, she's a pay pig. So what does it matter? Like, I don't, you're not going to change anything. You're still going to bitch and moan. But the difference is you're going to bitch and moan from mommy and daddy's living room floor. Like, yeah. Reminder, Breezy, if you're going to call the cops, <laughs> wait until Thursday. Because in case you haven't noticed, down below we got a hurricane. And I don't want to be taking up resources with your stupidity. Let's wait until Thursday, thanks. I would be here for that content. I would love to watch that. I hope we see more than her just trying different foods. I mean, listen, there's diabetes, type one diabetes. That's inherited. You can be super skinny, you can be healthy as hell and still get diabetes. I've seen people who Physically looked physically fit. Dropped. Well, I haven't seen them personally. Thank you, Jesus. But you've heard about it on the news and stuff. They just dropped out of a heart attack. Um, it's just, it's just you know. Listen, does it help your odds? I, I think it's not good to be that overweight. Um, I think your odds of a better life will increase if you lose that weight. But there are people who are a third of her size who don't live to be as old as she does. Like you just when it's your time, it is your time. <laughs> Uh, wait, what? I don't know. Is that what she said? Hold on, I gotta go back. Damn you, Melissa. How far back? I was too busy thinking about it. Hold on. I hope we see more than her just trying different foods. Oh, different foods. Uh. Which brings my next question. Did they get two beds or share a bed? Oh, God. <laughs> what, are you hoping for a sex tape, sex tape too? Yeah. We're gonna eat a of bed time over here. Thank you. Thank you, Lady. She's so fake. Trolling churches, mocking Chantal left and right. But hey, she's praying for Florida, folks. I can't take it. Bullshit. Oh, uh, I, need, I need a Monty sign, but uh, I need Monty. My coochie pink, my beautiful brown. <laughs> Calm down. In Thailand, <sighs> you can see these little motorcycles everywhere. They're a very common method of transportation here. Look. Look, she's already teaching you something. Are you going to give her a win for that, Breezy? I didn't know. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. Are you going to say, wow, that's really cool that Foodie, you know, gave us something while I'm sitting on my mother and father's floor that they bought me. That's really cool that she taught me something. No, no, you're just going to complain, right? I would go just for that. I want to ride little motorcycles. Oh, for fuck's sake. How fun. Fuck's sake. Why do you have to fly? Don't tell me she's afraid of flying. Is this is this the whole thing about the window seat? She's afraid of flying, which means if she never gets over that fear of flying, she's never going to see anything more than some of the United States. Unless she takes a cruise, I guess, from the West Coast. <laughs> I guess she can go to Mexico from a cruise. But I digress. And she So she's giving, she's bitching and complaining about a woman who will literally fly anywhere in the world when she herself, what do you want to step foot in a plane? My God. And beg for a Disneyland trip. I can't. Exactly. Isn't she the one who wanted a Disney? And then she lost her mind because Chantal lost her channel. How am I going to take my kid to Disneyland? Blah, 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 blah. So the balls of her to sit here, talk about Salah being taken care of when you're an e-beggar and a grifter. Breezy, cut the shits. This is embarrassing. 
I know your small little audience will tell you it's not. It is embarrassing, and you should cease immediately. So we're going to end the vlog here. We were so tired when we got back to the hotel. We picked up some local. Ooh, what is that food? I see some shrimps. I'm assuming that's a nice curry, white rice. Eh, looks like a dessert. Uh, are those kebabs? Skewers, I think, on the left. The top, I don't know what that is. Kind of, oh, is that the tomato thing she eats with everything? Thai food here, some chicken satay. Oh, and satay. we have some uh, spicy sauce. Some. Oh, spicy. Look at me. I'm so good. It was a sauce. Some shrimp and rice. It was very delicious. Wait, like, coconut shrimp or curry shrimp? And we have some uh, spicy sauce, some shrimp and oh, rice it, it looks it like good. curry though right usually curry i think it's curry. very delicious and we have some fried fish and rice fried fish is that fried with um is that coconut what was that coleslaw on the left i don't like that fried that fry looks like coconut and i'm not a huge fan of like coconut stuff like coconut shrimp so this is just the beginning of the journey guys took us okay this is gonna be the whole journey there we're just gonna see food the whole time okay well then don't watch don't watch don't watch why don't you do more content, uh, original content. Since you're such a world traveler, maybe you can uh, vlog yourself going to Walmart, right? Maybe you can vlog yourself, uh, I don't know, uh, walking to the family dollar. Since you're so worldly and you can do so much better content, show us what you got, Breezy. Show us. Show us. Take us back to that hookah bar. Time. We're not going to experience anything else. We're just going to order food to our room. Well. <laughs> In Thailand, Breezy. We're going to order room to our food. Oh, <laughs> We're going to order food to our room in Thailand, Breezy. You're bitching about her being in Thailand. Do you not see how insane you sound? She's in Thailand. The woman who you said yesterday needs human interaction and doesn't do anything and whose content sucks. She's in Thailand, Breezy. T-H-A-I-L-A-N-D. Grab a map. It's far. It's probably closer to you than me because I think you're on the West Coast of North America somewhere. But Thailand. You're ordering Uber Eats, probably with your mom and dad's credit card, let's be real, to your mom and dad's house that they gifted you, complaining about her experiences in Thailand. Let that sink in. It's a while to get here, so we're kind of tired. So we're just going to eat, and we're just going to rest up, and then we're going to do all of I don't know, Melissa. I, I don't know. Uh, oh, recently or a oh, long time ago? So I haven't checked my mail in like two weeks. The things. Sorry. So stay tuned for a lot more vlogs coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys. See you soon. Oh, gosh. Goodbye. We would have been just fine with that. Okay, so let's see if we get some closing thoughts. Then we're going to go to Monty. I know. Get your drama mean ready. <laughs> about that ending. That's all I have to say. Drama mean, not drama mean. Hold on. What did she say about the ending? Hold on. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys. See you soon. Oh, gosh. Goodbye. So, mind you, um, hold on. So, she started reacting uh, pretty much right away, I would say, right? We'll say uh, LeBron. Mm, oh, I'm on the live. How, I'm trying to figure out how long we actually. I'll have to do it after the upload's done. I, I'm trying to figure out how much she added to Chantal's actual video. Not the intro to the live stream, not the outro, just the time that Chantal's video was played. Because Chantal's video is. One moment, Salon and Chantal. 16 minutes and 11 seconds long. I am at, I hate that when you do live, you can't see. Oh, so I guess 25. I'm going to start it here at 46, 21 minutes long. So if my math is correct, she added about, what did I say? Five minutes. <laughs> Again, taking away the intro, taking away the outro. She added about five minutes is my estimate. But she couldn't wait. She had to go live. We would have been just fine without that ending. That's all I have to say about that. Look at you, you condescending. <sighs> Worst time of the year to go there. Yeah, I heard the humidity is really bad. It is a ton of food. I guess some things never change. And she's traveling. You know how when you travel, or even if you... Clearly you don't because you're afraid of, of flying, no? Go out of town like you tend to eat more. Oh my uh -huh. gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. It's gonna be all bad. All bad. We're just gonna see. It's gonna be get... all bad, but don't you worry. I'm gonna drop everything, including my child's, if she goes live. Stay tuned. Can't wait in Thailand. That's all we're gonna see. Uh -huh. I know. Uh -huh. Then why are you watching Breeze? Breeze, if you are such a great content creator and Chantal is just so boring, why don't you you work this magic with a new target? Go react to um Hungry Fat Chick. Go react to uh who else? Uh Nikocado. Bring this 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 amazing ability you have of reacting to other targets. Expand your horizons, Breeze. 
right? You're so good at it. And Chantal just sucks so bad from Thailand's. Why don't you go do something else? Oh, boy. I think I'm done with her. I'm ready for Monty. Oh, shut up. Watch. I don't know if I remember what his payday was a few days ago. It was, but... Okay, what does she do the rest of this video? Because she's got, like, all these minutes left. Well, that's skim. I completely forgot about this song. Someone in chat says Minnie Manson inspired Marty to start a new career. And Marty says... Oh, oh so Marty now she's doing, the, she's doing the Marty D sucking. Okay, cool. ...games inside. And, like, uh, I don't know. There's all kinds of types of stuff that you could do, like, kids parties. She's now. down to uh, 403 pounds, I heard. Um, herbal tea. Oh, like, it's so much different than when I was a girl. Uh, um, it's not like they've been together 12 years or something. Uh, so. I am right. okay. This is pointless, uh, breezy nonsense. All right. So here's Monty. Good old Monty. <laughs> Went live. We're going to uh, fast forward to right when he's got. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. You all ready for this shit? Oh, let's put Monty back on screen. Hold on. Welcome back, buddy. Okay. So this was Monty watching. Uh, Sean had to go within 36 minutes. Had a stream running, didn't even make a thumbnail, couldn't, it just had to go live, couldn't even put a thumbnail together first. So this is Monty's video, Foodie Beauty is in Thailand, exclamation point, couple travel to Bangkok, Thailand. Let's see what Monty had to say. Oops. It's say Thailand was one of the places she would go to. Uh -huh. I guess she's not going to go back to Canada, or is she not going to go back to Canada yet? You must be devastated. How are you going to stalk her from another country? Ooh, let's speed his up. Let's speed his up. Okay. Welcome, Lindsay, Casey Knight, Jack T, Sandy, Lush, Dynamite. How did the South try? Durban, Jess, <laughs> Katrina C. What's up, random fish? How you doing? And welcome all my lovely people. Smash that like button for me. All right, so let's let's see what she uh, what she's up to. We are in Thailand. So what like do you come up? Nice heart. No level. Wow, look at him. This man's weird. Yes, they can move. We can't hear you, Monty, because the video's too loud. I don't know if is anybody telling that in chat. Let's see. Uh, no. <laughs> Because they don't even expect him to talk at this point. That they're just like, shh. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Oh, nice. I'm telling Celine Banker. Observant is right. She's renewing her visa. If we're going to be real, let's be real. The only reason she's leaving the country, she has to renew her visa. I thought she would go home to Canada alone. But it seems that she wants to make a trip out of it with her quote-unquote husband. And Thailand was one of Salah's only travel options. What countries? There wasn't it like 14, 15, or 16? I've seen another person. She's in Thailand. You're in Montidiville. She's in Thailand. You were sitting at home in Montidiville doing God knows what with your idle hands, waiting for her to go live. She's winning. I don't know if you realize that yet, Monty. I don't care how big she is in this moment. She's in Bangkok. She's traveling the world. She won. 16, or 16, something like that countries that will allow somebody with a Syrian passport to enter the country. No Thank issues. you, Jesus. Let me look Melissa. that up. What other countries are there? Oh, I got to end my poll. Uh, let's let's just move on. All right. So uh, is Breezy a bubblehead in real life? 90% say yes. 10% say no. You're just waiting to check in. Me too, Gina. Inshallah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too. I'm a little hot and sweaty from walking around. You know, I'm not in the best shape. But... You'll be okay, inshallah. Yeah. All right. See what, see what I mean when I say that, like, I'll give it to Monty. He doesn't know how to be mean. <laughs> like, he lets the chat be mean for him. And I think he does that strategically. Like, it wasn't me. Casey ever gets in trouble. It wasn't me who said it. I was just repeating what was said in chat. Whereas Breezy will just say it. But she won't own it. She says it with that fake-ass, sugary, sweet, uh, nonsense voice of hers. Going to be checking in our luggage? I hope it be not long. Inshallah. We just made it through security. Not too many people here. Hey, Monty, are we going to react to this video? Because you've been watching it for like three minutes already. Are you going to have any kind of input other than cool or wow? Uh, no. Awesome. Hello. We're right. going to find a drink of water somewhere. Oh, my God. Thief. So they asked for Pinnacle. the passports and boarding pass. We need, we need to get this in front of a judge. We need a judge to look at this because this is highway robbery. Again, Chantal, a.k.a. Foodie Beauty, if you watch these videos, just exp just email me. I, I won't share it. I just need you to – I need to understand 
you've gone after channels who actually react to you. You've gone after channels who actually wait for you to get views. Uh, they chop your content up. They edit it. I'm not saying they're all honest and do good content. But at the end of the day, there's some effort being put in. Like, you've gone after those channels. But you leave Monty and Breezing stand. I need you to explain to me, is it fair? Do you fear their audiences? Because I guarantee you, I don't think they're very bright. I don't think they're going to do much to you. And I do still believe that the majority of reaction channels, as much as they hate you, will agree that this right here is not cool. Like, put a little effort into the fucking video. Him and Breezy, they don't. And it's, I don't, I don't get why she lets it slide. I wouldn't. These two would have been in the unemployment line already. If I, if I was Foodie Beauty, they'd be out. That's my water. Maybe because it's duty free. I don't know. Maybe. But really, first time in my life. Great. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Fupa. Thanks a lot, Fupa. Because I put this comment on screen, Glitter Alex Shit Queen is going to like tweet about me 47 times tonight. Awesome. It's my water. Very important water. Yeah, well, Edna, what's up? All right, let's go to Gate yeah. Hi, Edna. Thanks for joining the Everybody reaction. Can anybody else confirm? Thailand is one of those countries where you actually need a valid visa if you have a Syrian passport. Um, because there's different levels, right? There's countries where you could just enter visa free. Then there's countries where they issue e visas, which are easier to get. And then there's countries where you actually need a visa. Well, Melissa, I said this already. He doesn't do pre recorded content because he needs the chat. To, the chat monty's chat reacts Let, let's we all we all we all understand that right monty's not reacting monty's chat is reacting to these videos monty is just the captain monty's steering the ship and collecting the money his chat is the one saying everything he just repeats the shit they say and the questions they ask he doesn't actually react to the video but maybe maybe monty's gonna surprise me <laughs> maybe monty's gonna shock me let's see be, uh, you can get a visa on arrival so there's e-visas, visas, and arrivals, which are typically a lot easier. They typically don't refuse you, right? I know, like I've, I know. I've heard of that happening to people. But then there's countries where you got to apply <laughs> officially for a valid visa, and Thailand seems to be one of them with the uh -huh. Syrian passport. Sweden Sour, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome. All right, let's go to Gate 5. Yeah, let's go. Random fish, really? He want, uh... See, if Chantal made a comment like that. I want to show tells Beezers or moderators. All of Hater Nation, or whatever the fuck they're called on Go World, would be all over her. Zachary Michael would have already had a video uploaded. You know, he would have probably dyed his hair special for the occasion. They would have been a, a, just how she's a bigot, and he's a bigot. Da -da -da. But Monty puts that up on chat. <laughs> and it's just like, uh -uh. And everyone's just gonna let it go. No one's gonna say a word about it. So it's only it's it's the the the, the double standards. I don't know why they still shock me. I should not be shocked. I know, I know, I know, I know. Gigi, you're so stupid. Are you so stupid? Is this guy stupid? Yes, I am. Listen, you gotta go to Pattaya. <laughs> so here we are, guys, waiting at the gate, and soon we're gonna be on the plane. So excited. Me too. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> don't ask. Do not ask me how I know that about Pattaya. Okay, do don't do it. Uh, I, well, the, 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 huh? The Taya? Listen, you gotta go to Pattaya. <laughs> so here we are, guys. Oh, oh, <laughs> but of course. <laughs> my coochie pink, my booty hole brown. How quickly was he? I'm assuming what Monty just did there <laughs> was he listed either an area or town or district where you can find the best lady boys. He immediately had that information. The man can't tell you anything of value when it comes to these videos, but immediately out comes this paella, whatever he said, in relation to lady boys. And now he's gonna, oh, oh don't ask me how I know. Uh, guys, waiting at the gate, and soon we're gonna be on the plane. This is insanity. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Monty, I love you so much. <laughs> don't ask, do not ask me how I know that about the Taya. Oh, Monty, you get in your own way so much, and I just, I can't even handle it. Don't, do <laughs> don't ask me how I know about, like, uh, why it's way level before. Hi, baby. Yeah, well, I don't think we have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? The edging, the OnlyFans commentary about what, I mean, Monty is just, he's a, he's a sexlopedia. Is that a thing, sexlope sexlopedia? <laughs> Monty is a sexlopedia. <laughs> he also knows about pimps, child pimps, lifestyles. He knows the streets. He knows the hallways. He Monty has just been all around the world. It's just, it's, it's fascinating. I, we all want to be Monty, even Chantal. 
The BDSM expert. The man knows it all. Uh, I don't care about the ladyboy comment, but I know that if it was Chantal who, who if it was Chantal who did that and put it on screen, the amount of fake outrage about stop, why is she using uh being gay as an insult? And why did she promote that guy? It's just it's fascinating to me how like people want to be activists only if the ad sense is right. And it's just like just shut your mouth. So, like the community would rather you just shut your mouth. <laughs> Like the, if I have to hear Chantal's a bigot one more time as a gay man who has seen and experienced bigotry, like maybe these people on this platform just don't know. Like I've walked off the street and some truck drove by, called me in the F got word, and I was just like, okay. Like I, I don't know if they've just never like that is bigotry. <laughs> Chantal's just she puts a foot in her mouth. Right? Hey, I can I like tuk tuks. <laughs> Flan for you killed me. Oh, God, he's going to spend eight and a half minutes <laughs> on your comment. I hope you are prepared. Pretty cool. I, I want to write in one, but um, I think they were really fancy and nice and awesome. Uh -huh. I can't get over. I got to send that to Michelle. I cannot get over how this man looks just like her husband. I'm going to send it to her right now and see what she says. Wow. It's okay. like about an hour, but these things are my best friend. Pants. <laughs> this is Daddy Dak. Look guys, how hard it is when you are tall. There's no like room at all. Uh huh. Did Breezy have the audio off? <laughs> Why do I feel like I didn't hear any of this? Was her video just so low? I'm listening to all this and I don't know. Maybe maybe I was too busy yelling at her. I don't know. But it's okay. Great run the runway. Oh, based on the radar, it looks like it's uh oh, it's a two. Oh, it is now a category two. Why sleeping there? Monty, where's the reaction? That was three seats. That wasn't three seats. You could clearly see it wasn't three seats. But but that would have required you to actually study the video and pay attention and react. <laughs> oh, maybe maybe listen, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I choose yours going. Uh, and there you go. No, it was a one earlier. Now it's a two. It's supposed to land as a three. Uh, so. So, <laughs> Michelle said, as I've told you repeatedly, <laughs> make an appointment with an optometrist. I think it looks like him. Whatever. All right, support snack. We get a complimentary snack on this plane. So we have more shoes. Purple glitter. It's because assholes. That's why. That's why assholes. And again, you could see Salah was in the middle. There was somebody with jeans on Salah's left, and then Chantal. So no, she didn't sit in two seats, uh, three seats, whatever. Uh, no, category two is not better, and a three is worse. But as you can see, Tampa is on the outskirts, so we'll get like some wind and rain tonight. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be too bad where I'm at. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what. Okay, this is Thomas here. Goose goose. And what about? Like, I don't remember her saying any of this in the breezy video. <laughs> I remember seeing it in the breezy video. But do you all remember actually hearing about it in the breezy video? Hey, Chubba. Right, Casey. See, plane is tipping, right, Casey? The man can't react unless he has chats. And again, have you guys never traveled? I've seen somebody bigger than her just last Thursday on a plane. I don't I don't understand the fat jokes. All of you let's look at this person. Hold on. You don't look very thinnish yourself. You could be fit. But I'm just saying, based on your very small profile photo, Casey, you probably shouldn't be making fat jokes. Like I don't make fat jokes. I laugh at myself being fat because I, I it's self-deprecation. But like to sit there and be like, the plane's gonna tip. I would never say that because I'm not healthy either. Like I'm also fat. Why is that concept so hard for people? <laughs> Where's the catch? Good question. I almost how can OMG yeah, where is Julia? Oh god, hopefully not with you. 
It even said landing in Qatar 1830, but Breezy was too busy singing her super chats. I didn't I didn't even notice that because I was too busy laughing at Breezy. So yeah, that's why she's taking a second plane. She had a layover in Qatar. Wow, he's in light colors this time. What, what? is going on with that? My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. Monty loves his colors all of a sudden. <laughs> now Monty's Joan Rivers fashion police. Wow. Look at her. She's uh she's in light colors this time. Wow. And uh, I wonder what got her out of that. I bet it was uh yo caca. Correct, Jabba. That's all he does. That's why he doesn't do he can't do I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in time and see if he's ever done a pre-recorded reaction because I need to see how it went because I can't imagine it went well. <laughs> Uh, maybe something's wife has it. Other kids, maybe. So was that Breezy's shitty internet? Because in this video, look how much clearer it looks, right? But still, I see nobody staring at her. Breezy, you're full of shit. Uh, maybe something's wife has it. Other kids, maybe. All right, so she's in Qatar right now. <laughs> it's okay. That is well, I can't believe. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm giving Monty a win over Breezy. He even knew she was. He paid enough attention to know. Oh, or did chat tell him? <laughs> Hold on. He let's pretend he did. He paid enough attention to know that the girl was in a layover in Qatar. So damn it, I have to give her. I have to give Monty a win over Breezy. Maybe. All right, so she's in Qatar right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. There's too many AC here. I gotta give him a win. I have to. We're getting right to our gate. We're gonna be late otherwise. Boarding is like now, and we still have a 20 minute walk to our gate, so we are taking a train. It's <laughs> wonderful. That woman just what? 20 minute walk to our gate, so we are taking a train. That woman just side eyes her. What woman? Too many AC here. We're getting right. I see an old man. I see a woman walking in the background, so I see her. Her? Right to our gate. We're gonna be late. Otherwise. Is it her? Otherwise. Oh, <laughs> her, just breezy. They just make up stairs. I'm going to look. We're going to watch it again. <laughs> Maybe I missed it. Who side eyed Chantal just now? <laughs> okay, I see. There's an old man in a baseball cap. There are two gentlemen way down in the toiletry store. We're getting right to our game. We're Okay, so there was that woman back there. We're going to hey, watch her again. Hold on. AC here. It is physically impossible to tell what she's looking at because it's too grainy. Okay. Right to our gate. Oh, so, okay. Let's Okay, let's go back to that. On the train? Oh, Monty's so behind as usual. Where is the cat? Good Monty, go to live chat. I what almost does Monty not have enough people watching? Where is Julia? Who cares? Where's the train lady? Wow. Oh. He's in light colors this where, time. Where? What is going on with that? I mean, when I call that a side, I know she probably looked over and said, wow, that woman's big. I mean, <laughs> let's listen. I mean, we, I'm going to face facts here. People, you look at bigger people differently. I don't know if it was a side eye, but if I were on that train, would I have looked at her and said, wow, probably internally, but I wouldn't have stared at her. No, it's just, it's a reflex. When you see somebody of a bigger size, you just kind of, your eyes get turned to them. Oh, here was the first time in my life I see it. It like oh boy. Whose voice is worse? Uh, Breezy or Monty? Shit. Um, I'm gonna go with Breezy, I think, because Monty doesn't hide his when Monty's rage hamster comes out, he doesn't even hide it. He's just like, I'm ground you. She masks it with that sugary sweet nonsense, and I think that's why it makes it worse for me. I'd rather her just be the raging see you next Tuesday that she wants to be, like. You're not fooling anybody at this point. The, she wanted to be that reaction channel who was, I'm on the line, but I'm really not. You, you can't do that anymore. We know about the elderly abuse, the addiction stuff. You, you, you're done. Like, just own who you are. Be the rage pig. And then I think I would probably like her better. Because <laughs> I think her raging would be funnier to watch than Monty's rage. Because Monty's raging kind of becomes secondhand embarrassment after a while. You know? <laughs> yeah. 
if she let her inner nasty out, she'd she'd sound much better, I think. Yeah, um, she can walk. That's the real reason they're taking the yep. shuttle. Or, or maybe she just wanted to take the shuttle, Monty. Like, who cares? I feel right. Hey, I'll drop. I'm not going to go. See how far we're going to go. It's really. It's really weird that now of all time she decided to wear a light color. He didn't even, he was in such a rush to steal her content. He didn't even like ask how's the audio. You can barely hear a word this man is saying. Uh, listen, listen. You have to strain to hear him. This is. This is this was so important to him that he had to go live within minutes, but he couldn't even take the time to check his. He's talking. Listen to his reaction. It's really weird that now of all time she decided to wear a light color, and it looks awful on her. Okay, so what I think he said was, "What a weird time to wear a color, and it looks awful on her." Because we all know uh, Monty, Mister Preto Porter, walks around Montyville looking like the uh, best paid pimp in town, right? We still have to go to 24 so far. It's a long distance. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that statue is. It's like Mickey Mouse with a peen on his face. I'm glad we were going on our first international trip together. Me too. <laughs> I still think that thing is pretty. I don't care if just Breezy said it too. I don't care. I'm saying it again. Look at all this reacting. Oh, I can't even handle it. Oh, Louis Vuitton. She should have went in there. And, oh, you know, Chantal, you messed up. You should have went in there and got yourself a three to four thousand dollar purse. Really pissed everybody. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if the next shot had been Chantal walking out of Louis Vuitton with her new like four thousand dollar purse and matching clutch or whatever the hell they sell over their purses? But they would the meltdown because you couldn't say it was fake. She would have walked out that damn store with a sales associate waving her her glass. Chantel, when you leave this place, get yourself a Louis on camera. Oh, forget it. They'll all collapse. By the way, how much international is pretty big. Very big. So you've been there, Monty? What international? Hold on. International is pretty big. By the way, how much international is pretty big. Uh, I guess he's been there. I don't know. Very big. Oops, sorry. Oh my god, my ears are so clocked in that plane. Oh my god, are we gonna react? It's the same, you know? What'd you say, Monty? We can't Monty, we can't hear you. It's the same, you know? I I I don't something I, I, I think he read the second comment. I'm gonna give him another chance to say the first thing, but I I got nothing. It's the same, you know? I heard it's a senorita. There's a night district in Bangkok. There's a night district in Bangkok. So he says that. And before that, I think he says there's a senorita. I don't know. No Juan, you know, can mod you off the Discord link. If you look in the description of the video as well, No Juan, I have a link there. Hopefully it works. <laughs> or if you go to a prior video, it should be there. But someone in uh, chat can put it too, please. I mean, it's not like it's not like it's not like What, Monty? What? There's an egg district in Bangkok. Yeah. I mean, it's not like 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 he doesn't even adjust the volume because he's too damn lazy and all he's worried about is being the first person to steal her content. Maybe with me? Yeah, they actually went to Thailand. All right, a shout out to my red light district, Soy 11, Soy 12, Pattaya. Don't ask me how I know that. He just shouted out two red light districts in Pattaya and then again said, don't ask me how I know that. Is, would anybody be shocked if we... If if we discovered how he knew that, would it, would anybody be shocked if he discovered how we knew that? I would not be. I'd be like, oh yeah, figured. I just do. Not that far away from my thought. Uh, hopefully this weekend your channel is next. I gotta finish working on some emojis. Well, I got some good ideas in the earlier stream today, so thank you, uh, Steph, for writing them down. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now ready for the plane. Why, right, babe? <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, Gina, I don't. It's 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 kind of deceased uh, in the terms of an old pool booker. 
But um, I just like Discord because it's a great way uh, to get notified when I upload stuff because sometimes YouTube doesn't tell you, but my Discord always does and tags everybody. So if you don't want to like be bothered with chatting with people, I mean, you can look around and see if anyone's being active right now or you can engage with people. I'm sure they'd be happy to engage back. But if you just want to put notifications, you can mute. Uh, I believe you can mute all the other channels and just leave um, TGG uploads. And I think it's called other YouTube uploads so that way you don't miss like Fedora and uh, Belinda and other people. Red light, red light. Hey, Alimi. I want a horror movie, where is it? Right beside you. <laughs> oh, man. As you can see, this plane is a lot larger than the previous one. And more oh, uh, well, I don't think they're always underage. Um, I think when I've heard the term ladyboys, when I've heard it used, it usually describes adults. But they're adult males who are very feminine in appearance and very small in stature that they get the moniker boys. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't happen to minors. That's not what I'm saying at all. But I, I believe that it can also, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm going off of documentaries and movies, but I believe that the term is more about the appearance and it could actually be a legal adult male, but they have that, dare I say, twink uh, appearance. Because, you know, like twinks are very, like, more of like the smaller size, smaller statue, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's not always underage, but I'm not saying that it doesn't happen because I'm clearly in that area of the world it does a, a lot. And more sophisticated and luxurious, without a doubt. And here's my beautiful wife, Chantal, who is stunning as usual. Her stomach's nearly touching the other side. All right, so almost immediately they gave us the... What was that, Matsy? Are you reacting? And here's my beautiful wife, Chantal, who is stunning as usual. Her stomach's nearly touching the other side. All right, so almost immediately they... I think he said her stomach's nearly touching the other seat. Very astute. They gave us these little snack crackers, and they were pretty good, and uh, some cranberry juice. We love watching the fight. Oh, uh, Casey, if that's the case, Monty's suddenly going to be their biggest fans. <laughs> Casey says they got a pimp in business now to afford all this. I mean, it looks like we just lost Monty to the dark side. Not during the fight. And we had to go over India, which was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I thought so. My meal was some Coca Cola with a water, some kind of hamburger steak with the delicious gravy, mashed potatoes, and like a cranberry mm -hmm. sauce. Okay, for those of you who watched me watch Breezy, am I confused? I don't remember any of this being said, uh, unless I was talking over it because Breezy was getting on my nerves, which is also much a possibility. She doesn't mute this stuff because of the music, does she? Tell me, tell me that all of this was audible in her video, and I just don't remember it. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. That that's that's what's that's what it's gonna be. Actually, I still have her up. Hold on, <laughs> Let's see, because now I'm like. Because I, I was trying to figure out the food, and she just described what it is. I'm like, wait a minute, where was I? <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> India, which was pretty cool. So my meal was some Coca Cola with a. Oh, I guess I was too busy making fun of. I was too busy making fun of Breezy. <laughs> some kind of hamburger steak with a delicious gravy. Oh well, shit! My apologies to you, Breezy. You're not as lazy as I thought. Please forgive me. <laughs> with a mixed veggie salad and a cheesecake dessert. And this was Salah's meal. Oh my god, fifteen is the age you can say ideal meal. Meal of chicken, rice. And he said it was quite delicious. Oh, yeah, clearly I, I wasn't listening to her. She was boring me to tears. So I was making fun of uh, Breezy. My apologies. And after dinner. I... Breezy, please forgive me for not listening to you, not reacting to foodie. My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. Remix. Of course, we have some cookies and some nice Ooh. fresh. That's a lot of rain. Hope you guys are prepared to do pee pee on the pad. Because <laughs> I know you're not. If I open that back door, the two of you are not going to go. Hot coffee. Holy Actually. shit, I can hear it pounding outside. Oh, We're probably going to start zooming through this because Monty's boring me to tears, but I'll go live again tomorrow. But I'm just getting worried I'm going to lose connection. But let's try to make it like another 15, uh, 15 minutes. Four hours to left. I'm on my second movie. Another helicopter, yes. <laughs> where's, where's, I need Kiwi, uh, 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 strawberry douche. Yes, can you get the uh, uh, can you get the copter here? I need uh, to be airlifted out of here. Great, cool. Yeah, yeah, sure. Olive oil, uh, bring olive oil. Yeah, she's cool. Betty, yeah, why not? Oh, ask my dominatrix wants to come. Great, I'd love to take a picture with him or her. Awesome. Okay, cool. Thanks. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So well, we did book our seats together. Mashallah, the extra seat in the row. Nobody was sitting there, so we used it for extra room. It's just you know more spacious and more comfortable hey, for us, and we could put the blankets in. Oh my god, I used to love that song with information. Let the rain fall down. Oh, such a good song. Was that um Haley or is that Miley? Uh, Haley is that Hillary Duff? The rain. I'm Hillary. Is that Hillary Duff? Who was that Capricorn? Shit. I mean not Capricorn. Misinformation. I think it was Hillary Duff, right? Some pillows in the middle. Thanks, and as you can see, I can use the center tray, which of course because mine doesn't come all the way down because of my size. But yeah, he's in a horror movie. Dynamite. 
the man is in Bangkok and your biggest complaint or, or allege your biggest uh, allegation is that he didn't pay a dime for this trip. As far as I'm concerned, he is in the number one romantic comedy of the year. If a man walks in this house and says, hey, <laughs> you want to go to Thailand? I'll just pay for everything. And you just got to come along and just be in my videos. I'm going to ask how much extra to bring my dogs. <laughs> like I don't, I don't understand how this is a horror movie. This is, as far as I'm concerned, this is a very delightful fantasy. It's okay. The tray was flying, and we broke the whole hand for most of the flight. So, Hillary Duff, thank you. Yeah, sure too, because of course, because she says because of her stomach. And more food. <laughs> they gave us this sandwich, like a breakfast kind of sandwich. It had beef and egg in a flaky paste. <laughs> okay, so Mary, gotta give her a little credit. She's done a few big things in the last year, a couple years. She went to Cuba. I forgot about Cuba. Cuba. Whether or not it's for him to get access to Canada, I don't know. But she still has done a few big things. Correct. And Salah thought it was really delicious. I actually did think it was pretty safe. Monty's, uh, Monty's freaking out with this comment. I want to read it. <laughs> but I know it piss people off because we can never give her any credit. Very and tasty as well. <clears throat> that looks nice. We discovered that you can also play games on the entertainment wow. unit on the plane. So I had some fun playing Monopoly. I played for like a good hour. Isn't it wild? Am I the only one who finds this wild that he literally goes live to replay her video to give people an outlet so they can watch it through him and not her? And YouTube has not. This is wild to me. Absolutely wild. He's a good hour. It was fun. Like he hasn't said much. Guys, he just fired up a stream <laughs> to watch her video. Wild. Who thinks she paid for the extra seat? Hmm, interesting. I mean. Uh... Who do you think paid for it? Justin Trudeau? <laughs> oh, she, oh, they mean she, oh, okay, I got it. Sorry, sorry, Monty, relax before you hit pause and lose your mind. What she means is uh, there was no empty middle seat. They paid for that seat. Sorry, my apologies. See how easy that is, Monty? Ownership, accountability. Learn it. Uh, the, the Doha airport, which is Hamad International, is actually pretty big. It's busy. It's a very big airport. Yeah. Like in the region, there, uh -huh. there are several big airports. King Fahad. Um, the uh, airport in Dubai, and okay. the airport in Qatar. I am learning something. I like this. Where are we going? Which is, you know, I'm at International, so... Wow. Hmm, she probably did. Hey, Brandy Reed. I mean, I, I guess I learned something. Giving Monty a win. Hey, Sandy. Oh, there'll be another one tomorrow. Superhero power. And we made it. Yes. You look exhausted, babe. So glad we it's made it. Luggage. Parts and to our hotel. Wait, no, it's what is it? Looks like we made it. Looks like we made it. It's okay. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> yeah. It's hey, Melissa, at least he's doing something, right? I mean, listen, at least he's doing something. I've got to give the guy a win. At least he's looking up something. <laughs> Can't even see anything out the window. That's how human it is here. <laughs> oh, I see Stella. I got to say one thing. Somebody had to. Remember I did her tarot cards a few months ago? I said she has a lot of my I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. What's my Bible? I can't with these people. <laughs> really good question. Cypher says, is, isn't Thailand bad for Muslims? Look You'd down, actually uh, be surprised then. Uh, About 92.5% are in Thailand. Monty, it's too loud. I'm going to go back and give you a second chance because I was singing. <laughs> I got to say one thing. Somebody asked a really good question. Cypher says, is... I, okay. Isn't Thailand bad for Muslims? You know, is it? Truly be surprised then. About 92.5% are in Thailand are Buddhist. Uh, okay, 92.5%. So he did a little research for this. I'm shocked. Hold on. Muslims? I wish he had adjusted the volume so I wouldn't have to strain. You know, truly be surprised then. About 92.5% are in Thailand are I think he says 92.5% are Buddhist. The second um, largest. Oh, thank God he paused. Uh, religion is actually uh, uh, Islam. 5.4% of people are Muslim in Thailand. Now, going to uh, take our package. Technically, they're not asking about Thail Thailand. They're asking about Thailand. <laughs> it's a different country. And then? Oh, we'll boy. Oh, no, for a shower. <laughs> All right, well, sitting down. Exactly. We have to check for our luggage. Uh, uh, Which conveyor belt? She's Thai. Oh, girl, have, these, have anybody, has anybody in Girl World ever traveled? <laughs> like, people travel, right? Have people, has anybody flown long distances? It's. A, I went to Vegas, and I was exhausted. And that was only... Uh, two would change to Dallas, two and change about and about two to Vegas. I mean, and that was exhausting just to be on a plane and uh, going through security. Although, hello, pre-check is the best to get it if you don't have a TSA pre-check. Um, I don't understand these comments. She's tired. Of no, she's tired from traveling and sitting on a plane. Lord, uh, Sandy Shores, thank you. Uh, I'm here for. I don't know where I got. Thank you from. I'm here for you reacting to Monty to Monty reacting to Booty. Well, the good news, Sandy, is the first half of the stream. I reacted to Breezy. 
quote unquote reacting and it was also very delightful i recommend that when this is done in about 10 minutes i recommend you go check the other one out you uh rewind and start from the beginning your belt is going to be on there's a million pre-check um so i had an fbi uh had a background check run and they take your fingerprints to make sure you're not a criminal and you don't have any red flags in your history and if you um pass you get a number and every time i book a flight like a domestic flight although they have a program for overseas all clear i think or something like that i don't know but so when i book a domestic flight i book it with this number and that means i go to the pre-check line or the pre-check line you don't have to take liquids out of your bags you don't have to take your shoes off um all you have to do is like empty your pockets and throw your uh carry-on on the x-ray and just walk right through like there's no there's no stress of like the liquids coming out that the ipads can stay in the bags the the computers can so it's it's an expedited check it so when we left to go to vegas on thursday morning there were a lot of people in the uh uh regular security but the three of us got to go right through pre-check and you just literally walk right through it's great i recommend it if you fly in the united states a lot i recommend you look into it you don't fully skip you still get your stuff x-rayed but you don't have to take everything off and it's you don't have to go through the hassle and the anxiety of everything everybody else is shit with the liquids and everything else um yeah so we're just gonna get wait for our luggage and melissa this airport is huge um, and I'm super full because they gave us like. I if you think he with... said she's sweating. This airport is huge. Yeah, of course she's sweating, Monty. She's 300 and something pounds. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> um, and I'm super full because they gave us like. But she's sweating in Thailand, Monty. You're sweating her <laughs> from Montiniville. She's sweating from living her own life in Thailand. Like she makes you sweat. She don't need you to sweat. She got Thailand. Do you see how sad this is? No. Okay. So like, if you fly with Qatar Airways... Yeah, she's in Thailand, Rio. They're going to feed you every two hours. I know you can say no, but it's really hard. Um, so, yeah. It's not hard to say no to food, Chantal. Uh, hey, I'm stoned very hot. I mean, it can be, but every two hours, I'd be okay with not eating every two hours. I'm tired of this whole day of traveling and That's walking around so much. So... She's just sitting and walking. That's all she... Uh, clearly, another person who's never flown long distance these people if you flew to honolulu from florida all of you would cry like children by hour by hour 10 you'd all be crying in coach by hour 10 but i'm all right so far <laughs> yeah where'd the seat path i don't know any tie the only tie i know is like select path and select cap for a male my makeup oh my gosh i need to get to the hotel and have the coldest shower i swear exactly. i'm so sweaty they, and they're... gross like all the hate she gets online, and obviously she's very self conscious. I, I mean, she, I mean, maybe she's not self conscious, but the fact that she can just listen, people give her flack, but yeah, she's in Thailand. She shows a whole body. <laughs> I mean, regardless if it's not maybe the best body at the moment, she shows it all. She doesn't care, right? And that's why I always give her credit for that. Like she's doing shit. Cuba, Thailand, Kuwait. God bless her. I went to Vegas, and that was enough. One of the first things you want to do when you get to Thailand is get a SIM card. So there's all these stalls surrounding the entire airport. Uh -huh. Very competitive. So hey, times. Uh, we are currently going to be getting some SIM cards. Yeah. Thanks to the research, Oranges Parges. Cards. I would say they're there because of her visa renewal. Let's do a vote. Why is Hootie Beauty oh, in Thailand? Uh, Why is My hair is blocked, and my sinuses are blocked. I'm running out of patience. Let's finish this. Yes, they can kiss now. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. These people can't get their own ass that they're like dying for Chantal to get some on camera. Stop it. Who cares? We're going to traffic jam. Oh, God. You we were in coach for 27 hours, seven of which you were stuck in Fran Fran France. No, no, no. Uh, uh No, none of these people have traveled. They're like, why is she tired? She hasn't done anything. She's tired from traveling. Know. You schmucks. Why, oh, you don't like rickshaw? I don't like rickshaw. Well, I don't even know what he's... Oh, rickshaw. In Thailand, you will see these little motorcycles everywhere. They're very common method of transportation here. Oh. Julie, she looks like his mom. Taking she his mom really in a trip. Looks, she looks like his mom. No, she doesn't. Shut up. You're surprised the rickshaw's moving? Surprised the rickshaw's moving. Oh my god. <laughs> she's. Oh my god. Have these people. Like, I've seen much. I don't know. Like, listen, I get it. She's big. But have you ever seen anybody bigger than her in public? I have. Like, 
are the people who in this you know in this corner of the world so sheltered that they don't leave their houses or do anything? And maybe that's why this is shocking because yeah, Chantal's big, but I swear to God, I've seen bigger in public. Haven't you? <laughs> like, I just I'm kind of surprised by oh the rickshaw, this and that. And I'm like, do you guys ever go out? <laughs> I've seen bigger people on rickshaw. Like, I don't know what I'm missing, guys. I need I I just I need I need a Bible. <laughs> Somebody give me my King James. <laughs> They act like she's the biggest person they've ever seen. Put on my 600 pound life. <laughs> like, she's half their size. This is crazy. So we're going to end the vlog here, but we were so okay. tired when we got back to the hotel. We picked up some local halal Thai food here, some chicken satay, uh -huh. and we have the some sauce, yeah. uh, spicy sauce, some shrimp, sure, and rice. rice. Yeah. It was very delicious. This is when, this is when, I could be wrong, but we're going to try to guess the future. Ready? Either Monty. Or someone in his chat is going to talk about how that's so much food. I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I will apologize. Although, no, I shouldn't have to apologize. I'm not accusing anybody. That is my theory. I theorize that in the next couple of minutes, we are going to hear a comment either in chat or from Monty's mouth about how that's a lot of food. So let's see. Just and we have some fried fish and rice. So this is just the beginning of the journey, guys. Took us a while to get here, so we're kind of tired. So we're just going to eat, and we're just going to rest up, and then we're going to do all exactly. Uh, ALR would be a shock, not Chantal. Flying's really exactly. all of the things. So stay tuned for a lot more vlogs coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys. Exactly, a channel. I see him at Walmart daily. Guys. All right, guys. See you soon, and goodbye. I wonder how long they're actually going to stay in Thailand, which is my yeah. other question. So vote no, people. I think we'll watch this again to see if we miss anything. Vote now. <laughs> I'm sorry. He, is that what he does the second stop it oh my god he watches it twice he watches it twice to see if they miss anything <laughs> he is so desperate to spread content out oh Monty what the hell is wrong with you and he barely reacted to that let's see 108.53. The video starts at, let's see. Um, we'll say 106.57. And then if I do this math right, 48.50. Yeah, uh, about 20 minutes of reacting, I think. I, I don't know. I can't do math. I have to check when it's actual video. No, the second. This is insane. He's going to he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna watch it again. Look, 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 guys. I'm going to give it up. Look. They're watching it again. This is insanity. Look, look. What's kind of strange how Foodie Beat was in super light colors and everybody else in her vicinity was in darker clothing. It's super strange. It's a conspiracy. Uh, I don't know if anybody told Monty this, but uh, Chantal is actually starring in an M. Night Shyamalan movie called Colors, where she uh, enters a country where everybody wears predominantly dark colors and she stands out by wearing bright colors. What people think is a quirky uh, woman at first, Sue find out she's actually evil incarnated. Don't miss M. Night Shyamalan's colors, only in theaters in Montyville. Montyville. Therefore, there's so much of so much first time in my life. I, see, I, put, like, I can't believe she's doing Look at this. Yeah, this is oh, not... In terms of, like, trips, money, yeah. Look, and they're asking... They, they, and then the chat acts like... The chat acts like they didn't just watch it. I can't. I can't, guys. He stresses me out, and it's my limit anyway. I gotta go check on this weather outside. I gotta see what's going on out there. And my uh, ears are killing me still. They're still super blocked, so it's hard for me to, like, um... It's just it's getting harder to, like, talk because, like, everything's muffled. And I, I it's a it's time for me to go check on my fences and outside and probably go to sleep uh, it, it shortly. But, uh... Probably going to go live tomorrow. Um, we're going to see what Monty does. We're going to see what Breezy does. We're just going to keep, you know, you know, I, they shouldn't be upset about this, right? Because they do it to Chantal. So this should not come as a shock to anybody involved. Um, we're going to check on them. And I'm going to work on my membership emojis and then figure out pricing and membership perks. And I don't know. So you'll see me live at some point tomorrow. But Linda never came in a chat. So I'm assuming that means... Her internet never came back, um, so that sucks, but hopefully she'll be live at some point in the next 24 hours. But anyway, uh, so if you're in the Floridas with me, please stay safe, especially if you are in the uh, armpit area. I'm very concerned for anybody in that area, so please make sure you make smart decisions. Get your supplies ready. If you're going to go to sleep, keep the supplies next to you, uh, so that way if you have to wake up in the middle of the night, you don't have to go searching in the dark for them. Um, 
and just please stay safe. As for everyone else, um, I will tweet tomorrow morning, let you guys know what's going on. Hopefully I have power. And if I have power, I'll probably plan a stream sometime in the afternoon. It all depends on what happens with power and uh, if there's any like damage and stuff, but hopefully they won't be. So guys, uh, super chats, chatters. Uh, thank you for the super chats, super stickers. Thank you for the super stickers and uh, mods. Thanks for modding and everyone else. Just, you know, thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video on the way out. And I will definitely, hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. Stay safe out there. And uh, yeah, have a good night or good morning, depending where you are. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.